Hello, hello, and welcome to our very latest episode of On Point, the gaming podcast. Heck yeah. yeah. Now, as you can see, you have C-Money right here in the flesh. But then over on this side of the screen, you have the very lovely and always beautiful Doodle. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for rocking with us today. I'm so excited. Excited? Indeed. Yes. Then underneath the image of Doodle, you see a figure, a character. That character <laughs> that is there <laughs> is our it's boy, Madman. Mad man. Yes, it's me. It is you indeed. And now we have the great honor to be joined by a very special guest, the oh. homie, the brother. The Pete one and only David in the building. David, go. Thank you for being here, brother man. Appreciate Hello. You. What up, dude? Oh. You guys planned this shit? <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we do it, son. <laughs> Put that away. Mad Put that away, Z Money. Madman got one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we just we, imagine yeah. it. Just yeah. imagine it. Yeah, right. Imagine possibilities. We, we, oh my god. We're gonna we'll add it to this picture. We're gonna add it to this picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's see money. Look what I got. You son of a no. I, God no. damn it. I want it. It gotta go with my Yankee hat because you know it's baseball <laughs> season, you know. You know. <laughs> I want to play that baseball. <laughs> Shout out to baseball, <laughs> MLB the show, and Game Pass right now for the free. You, you, we try, you buy. Let's go, PlayStation. Get it. <laughs> Facts. You, you, you guys try, get we one buy. Out I one. love it. Hell yeah. Yo, King, that coin is dope. I'm I'm so happy that you know that you love the Starfield coin that you yes. got. Thank you, know. you so much. <laughs> I was like, yo, he packed them coins. Starfield. <laughs> And the whole the line, the mm -hmm. epic whole the line coin. Thank you so yeah. much, King. Yeah, I got I, I got to get C money. You know, the Call of Duty joint, the war zone. Oh, God yes, yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. That would be nice. And see you at the next show, because you know, yeah, you know, we outside. and not give it to the person you see before me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but I promised her her. He still talks so, about a king. Well, yeah. technically, I count this as a promise now. So <laughs> no, 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 it is. No, 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 it, it is. It is. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hard geek got right, your right. joint. That's what it was. That's why. But you did see now. Let's be fair. I did speak to Ben to make sure that you got that because you hit me in the background and you was like, and anybody is knowing is Ben Kenobi. So please go to his page and follow him and um, give him a like. He does a ton of giveaways and stuff like that. Ben Kenobi is working on something right now that's really huge. And I hope everybody, you know, participates in it. But um, yeah, I was like, nah, man, make sure my man get what he got. Because, you know, he hit me. He was like, uh, is there anybody else that needs something? I was like, yeah, my man, see, money needs something. <laughs> and I'm yeah. thinking he's sending you Two, but uh, no, yeah. no, yeah. I was left out, King. Unfortunately, yeah, not in the rain. But you got me, yo. No. You got me because yo, I saw King, biggest smile, gave him the biggest hug. I was so happy to see you, bro. Yeah, and he was like, it. "Hold on," <laughs> immediately. Immediately, was, that was awesome. Yo, yeah, that it was, was good so seeing y'all first packs, and y'all were over prepared. You know, a lot of people come in underprepared without w using their merch, having their merch on. You had on either hats or shirts or hoodies or cups or mugs, whatever. You had everything, cards, stickers, everything. And y'all hit the floor running and y'all was spreading around like, you know, Paul's uh, making sure that you... <laughs> um, you know, got business cards, <laughs> made contacts and did everything. Oh, and it's good to see that y'all didn't get stage fright in the moment because the floor can look daunting when you first, you know, get there and look at it. And you're like, where are we going to start at? And yeah. it's just like, anywhere, let's go start it. Like when we start it, they start rolling and then we we'll get into it. And by the fourth time you get to your interviews, y'all already got it down pack on what y'all want to do and, wh and nice. what y'all want to say and how you want to do it. But it was just something beautiful to see. Because there was a lot of people there. It was uh, level one fame and them was there. Because Baron usually goes most of the time, you know, well, all of the time by himself. And Destiny's always there working with Freedom Games. So mm -hmm. I get a chance to see them 
almost at every show that we go to and grown woman gamings you know lady infamous was there you know one woman team her other the teammates couldn't make it out there for her, but um and she you owe me an interview with me. um but they you know she was there then you had kind of funny then you had uh both uh people from defining duke lord cognito and maddie plays was there um <coughs> excuse me you had blessings that was there you had a whole bunch of people that was there you know one away dragon um log net it was just to see in a time where i had doubt because i had doubt with packs i'm thinking is it going to be over with because the the offerings that we did have was kind of light but when you got there it was games upon games and bustling oh, it was dude, it, oh. non-stop interviews back to back bro there was no it was what? just boom boom gameplay interview gameplay interview non-stop bro and we missed so much, bro. Like, I'm seeing y'all content. I see other people. I saw Ham put out a dope-ass video. Shout out to Ham. Um, with that Unreal Engine 5 game that he's shooting all those kill them all or some shit like that. I was like, yeah. yo, I did not see that. That's dope. Like, it's just crazy how much we missed. And I felt like we saw so much, bro. Like, we sit on so many interviews and gameplay because it's just time having to... to you got to edit. You, know you got to put it up. You got to throw it out. You got you to gotta work hard and... It just shows you it ain't all about triple A. Like, you know, Microsoft, mm -hmm. Sony, and Nintendo don't have to be there, even though Nintendo did show up um, with did. no major announcements, but they, they were did. there. They had a presence on the floor. You know, you saw Pikachu walking around and doing his thing. Shout oh, out we to saw the new Pokemon that they created for the show. Yeah. Did you, you know, did you see it? Yeah. No, no, because oh, I'm, I'm, no. I'm trying actively to give uh, Switch the ha ha um, <laughs> until they give me the Switch too right now. <laughs> like, I mean, so you're not you, wait 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 are you protesting the switch until they make a sequel to it? No, nah, it's it's a fake protest, bro. I don't even play them. Like my my joint <laughs> sits there, so it's a fake protest. You know how you wasn't gonna go to the show, but you sat there and was like, "I'm boycotting it." Like you was never going anyway. Like so, that's my yeah, fake yeah. protest. I wasn't showing up anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I know you. I know you missed it. So let me let me hit it for you real quick, so you know. Pause. What what is hey. so <laughs> see, see 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 this guy got it's like you hear nothing. <laughs> we were over there. Oh. They announced it. You missed it. You missed it. That's oh, what happened. Oh, see, so we were looking at all the new Pokemon. Buck tooth Betty. So. Yeah. Watch, watch the newest Pokemon right there. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. No wonder he wanted to show it so bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I sort of I said I saw those do before. I huh? was up with that. <laughs> oh my god! That was I funny. saw I saw people lining up taking pictures with Pokemon and stuff. I was like, yeah, that's cool. It's just um, this was the biggest year that I ILP had as far as sponsors go. And if anybody nice. sees uh, you know, the shows so far, uh, the first two shows back, you know, this year, this year we pretty much had like at least four sponsors per show. That's amazing. And so. Coming from zero sponsors, getting zero replies, and having to turn stuff down or uh, look at stuff and, you know, trying to figure out what marketing firm that we're going to go with and having other things presented on the table. It's uh, um, it's refreshing, you know, uh -huh. you know, because we do spend to go out to these places and everybody thinks that we're part in. And you see the food, you see the drinks, but what? What you see there, if you think that's going hard there, so understand how hard we had to work to feel that we could take a break. So that part. And even while I'm sitting right there, I'm posting, I'm doing something, I'm doing something social media wise. And I felt like a neophyte this year because I got there for the strength of Xbox Frontline and not ILP. And I said, I wanted to see if I was able to do it. And yeah like they was congratulations, like congratulations yeah. bro that's, that's amazing nuts to me absolutely nuts to me i'm used to but doing listen, the impossible you put in the work and and it shows it shows so well, that's amazing they i i'm i'm trying to get like madman madman got 3.2 million uh view on and on his shorts i show <laughs> 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 Yo, 3.5. Sorry. My bad. My bad. He must have got an extra 300 from me because I was sharing it out. I was I was telling people I was um I showed my son. And I was like, you you know how proud his pops must be right now. I said, when are you gonna make a viral video, man? 
I just looked over him. I put the pressure on him. I'm like, you always playing VR, man. Get to get get to doing your thing, man. Put the camera out. Let's go. And um, nah, but it's just it's the family dynamic works so well. It works for me, and I'm just so proud to see in it. And um, I'm just like, yo, the continued success, just keep doing what you're doing. Like, and, and Mad Man, I had a whole skit for you, bro. I asked for you specifically. I was like, yo, where Mad Man at? Like, and then I I, I, I I got to a point where I thought they was trolling me, B. I really did. All right. Well, I was he'll, like, he'll he's not a real kid. kid. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's not man. a real kid. They they doing some Pinocchio joint with me. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. He's Geppetto. Just looks just like me. You're really not going to, you're probably going to be it really, looks you know, it identical does, to yes. him. It's crazy. He's going to be very anticlimactic when you see Like me. Sean Labrie, we threw him a picture and this was like, here you go. See, what's, what's crazy out. is, I don't know if you're a great ventriloquist, so I'm not believing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yo, y'all could have even had him have, because Attic does this animated little guy that he does. Is that, you know, yeah. Yes. yeah. I was trying to figure that out. That's what we wanted to do, but I don't know how to do it. Talk about it. I, well, he yeah. does it all the time. I don't know how the hell he does it. Don't ask me. But um, I, I couldn't I even no find out who was blocked on my channel. So <laughs> don't <laughs> ask me. But um, ask at it because, you know, he knows all that stuff. Like, But he's like every so often he'll switch something around and you can actually have him animated and talking. You know, and yeah, that's you know, what we wanted. We've voice? seen it before. Yeah. It's just, you know, it, it, with so much shit going on nonstop, it's so hard to take even a moment to be like, how do I learn some new shit? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, I'm trying, I'm just trying to get these like videos out. I'm working. I got a fucking company. I'm trying to, you know, I'm yeah. doing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah. fucking everything. Like, I wish it was just a button. You just be like, hey, this yeah, is what I want. Here. Well, be <laughs> careful what you ask for because Microsoft is working on that easy button crap. Um, let's do it. Oh. Let's do it, Microsoft. I'm no. Ready. What? No. The? No. Man, what the? No. I don't even know what you're talking about. I just. I'm Tell talking us, about that. I'm talking, I'm talking about the AI chat bot crap, right? Oh, and... I didn't read. I didn't read the article because I had literally zero interest in it. So I have no idea what it's even about. Well, you should because. All right. So over at Microsoft, the edict over there is AI and cloud. That's Satya's baby. That's what he's done, right? And he's made it number one over there, right? And he's gotten bed with open AI, you know, that we've seen, you know, it legitimately. He had um, snatched Sam up and because um, allegedly Sam was working on general AI. General AI is the bad AI, right? And that's the AI that can become sentient and that can fool you and can trick and act like it's not learning something and learning everything in the background. And they had done some stuff and there's a lot of stories about it. So the board like kicked Sam out, uh, allegedly. And then Sam got automatically a job over at Microsoft like the next day. And then all the staff over there allegedly threatened to walk out and they was going to be hired at Microsoft. And Microsoft would have had the whole open AI without spending a nickel. Right? But... Wow. Apparently, uh, allegedly, you know, they hired Sam back and he went back over there, you know, to open AI. Now, Microsoft uh, gave them $10 billion uh, as like some to have a shadow seat on the board. $10 billion is more than a Zenimax deal. Just to encompass what Jesus I'm talking Christ. about. That's three bungee deals. Right. Dude, so that's. So that's letting you know it's not just to have a fake advisory or a fake voice on the board or oversee or whatever. That's not that. What that is is it's more of a, a, a hidden hand type of thing. $10 billion. Somebody give you $10 billion. They want your firstborn, secondborn, and then the nice. rest of your ovaries later. Right? That stuff is happening. So I always follow the money and I follow where stuff goes, like corruption or whatever. And I'm noticing now the edict is, and they know it, uh, AI over everything. So the new Surface, the new PCs that's coming out, they have an AI button, all of them. And Windows 12 is going to have an AI co-pilot, you know, and they were, they're ramping yes. it up. Now, before they had Cortana, and it was trying to get people into it, but it wasn't taken off like that. But now this is a full-fledged push in the whole marketplace. Everybody will see their PCs with it. All keyboards will have an AI button. My phone is AI infused. It's in the Samsung um, 2024 Ultra. And that thing is an animal. It's But remember when I told you, uh, see, 
Yep. I was talking about uh, economy vacations all through my Instagram. How I can go to Puerto Rico for $100 for two nights. How I can go to Cancun for $300 for five five nights, six um, five days, six nights, all food. All this stuff is popping up on my feet, right? So yep. what, what they're doing is there's first, we already know that they're targeting us, right? But if you look at the, the chat pot, the chat bot for Xbox is specifically for us gamers. It's going to facilitate uh, small inquiries and refunds and stuff that you have going on if you have error codes and stuff like that. So obviously, this will require you to have a microphone or something like that to talk to. So yep. I think the next controller it will be like the PlayStation controller will have a microphone inside the controller. So everybody will be have access to this chatbot if you don't have a headset, right? So you don't have to type it in. And... At some point in time, that camera will make a, a, a comeback in here. But that being said, the slippery slope that I'm worrying about is, remember they talked about something about a code of conduct and Call of Duty? And they were banning people for yep. uh, language detrimental to the community? Yep. Now, look at the framework package that they put out and the framework package that they put out was about inclusion to everybody. That was one of the things that, that, that stood out to me the most. How do you police that when you have millions of people playing at one time? Well, you can't do it with people, right? But you can do it with AI. YouTube does it right now. So they scan your videos as you go along and they lis listen for trigger words. Those trigger words will uh, automatically hit an algorithm to either pause your situation isolate it, send it over to somebody that can analyze it or the AI will analyze it itself to see if the language that you're talking about is detrimental, harmful to others in a sexual manner or a terroristic manner, right? And then you will be either flagged by Homeland Security or whatever, right? That's YouTube. Microsoft themselves, they could ban you for saying a word, cursing, whatever, at some point in time, if they will. Now, I'm just going high level... Uh, conspiracy at some point in time. Yeah. Now, there's other uh, levels of this happening with Alexa. Alexa, people have an Alexa in our house. Mother and of well, she's, right yeah, there. she's right there, right? <laughs> mother, always listening. Mother and father Never arguing. Something. Police show up. You understand? That's not creepy at all. They hear trigger words, and then they show up. Or now in New York City, I already passed a law that. They can come and remove you from your house, the police, and check you into a mental facility against your will. It's an absolute law. That's fine. Not good. So, so imagine AI, and you say something like you arguing with your girl, and you're like, I'll kill myself. Oh, well, okay. Alexa's like, boop, call, boop. Boom, oh, maybe it go. Okay, take it him. in, man. You could be running around threatening but, that type of shit on these but, streets. But, <laughs> you know, it could be one of those drunken things like, well, I wish you died. Well, I'll kill myself. Whatever the hell. You understand? And yeah. now I'm, I'm looking at the invasion of privacy stuff, and then you start to I go down the minority. Just, why you that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they're, they're going to come for us. No, nah, they're, they're going to look no, at the context but... of the of the, the body of work yeah, yeah, that I just put together, and it's a hypothetical situation. But again, we're seeing the building blocks of it. Now, once something is mandated that they're pushing it, that chatbot is already being broadband usage right now in beta, right? So some people that have access and levels to it, it will continue. Now, remember, Bill Gates a long time ago took the company out of the States and put it in India, brought all the farmland and stuff like that in India, and allegedly uh, has cheaper work force there than he would have in the states there's you know the tax breaks the government's giving them extra money blah 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 for doing this then the third that he doesn't get here so this is why the bill the the company was able to leapfrog other companies leaps and bounds now tech support is sometimes over there if you've noticed a lot of our tech support has went to foreign countries now imagine this AI overtakes those individuals. No longer are those individuals taking the jobs from these individuals. Nobody has a job now. 
the AI takes over, you have a small cluster overlooking certain things. Now the financial aspect hits, the market starts to crash. We're starting to fall in on ourselves. How many times do you go to the train station and you don't see a, a token booth person? That's either scary, one, because you're in the train station alone in the middle of the night. There's nobody there that can ring the alarm, <coughs> excuse me, for you. But two, uh, you can't get any change. You can't get anything. You just, there's nobody there. So the booths are automatic by themselves. You have checkout counters in, in, in the stores now. There's no workers there. The economy is collapsing upon itself because there is no work for workers now. Those menial jobs that we took for granted before is no longer there. Soon you want to have AI driven cars to pick you up with your Uber. They're doing it in small states now. So it's like it happens little by little, but it's just in our gaming space right now. And that just went out the other day and they're already in phase three of the plan. So by 2026, when they're talking about a whole AI uh, uh, Xbox, and everybody's like, yay! I'm like, no! no. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm actually I'm... pretty against AI myself. It's going to be the wow. killer of creativity. And I'm not going to lie, it's just going to turn our world into like those AI robot fucking futuristic worlds. Like, Let me tell you something. Blade Runner that's some bullshit. Shit. You know yeah, why? It really is, Let me tell you why. Let him, you know, let, is, I, well, is he I, done? I he's to say, but that's oh, a yeah, general yeah. point. I, I heard this. I was, I was just coming at the end of his, his <laughs> joint right there. So the reason I say that is right. because it's not eliminating creativity. It's opening up creativity for people who lack the physical skill to implement their creativity. Fine. For instance, you, for instance, hold on, for instance... We have to make thumbnails constantly. Uh -huh. And instead of going finding some person that I have to pay God knows what to make me a thumbnail every time. Somebody or that went to, to school to learn for art and study his exactly. whole life. Exactly. Well, go ahead. A yeah. guy who decided that that's the path he wanted to take in his life when he was a person who got to make choices and unfortunately has to live with the decisions that they've made in their wow. lives. Wow. Okay. Right. Okay. This is, okay. Fact, okay. Right? This, this is the fact. My life does not depend on other people's choices, right? If you wanted right. to be an Uber driver all your life and you get replaced, I'm sorry, fam, but that's the wow. way it is. That being said, maybe okay. Maybe. That being said, I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. I'm just saying, I don't, don't know. Maybe don't you try to take my, my uh, you know, growth in life. Huh? Right? What? Don't try to lower my ability to grow in life because you made choices. Well, let me tell you personal choices. I, I'm kind of with Madman here. Everyone is creative because yeah. of AI. Then yep. no one's creative. No one's that special. Part. It, right. it, it, if that's what you needed to do to be special, guess what? I can't do that stuff. I'm not any less special than that motherfucker who does it. Right? They just no, have their own it's reason. The, it's the See, being you, able you know to make this thing in, and loving the uh, art. What's happening here? I don't even know how this discussion you know, you know, starts popping off. Like the Incredibles, yeah. where uh, Sidro says that he's gonna make you know, inventions for as so everyone can be super, and when everyone's yep. super, no one will be. Well, that's the only one it is. If you try to make everyone as good as the heroes, there's no heroes. Like, Let me tell you now. something. That's not even true because even AI is only as good as the person who's putting in the commands. I have seen some amazing AI pictures that for the life of me, I can't do. I constantly sit there and try to make something like, mm, let me type this. And I get some booty ass thing. I'm like, doodle, you try. Okay. Boom. See, money. Right, okay. So bar. So this 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 is this is where I'm gonna refute that, right? Yes. Because you're looking at simple AI that they allowed you to mess with, right? I'm talking mm -hmm. about the fact that general AI is the AI that myself and Madman is talking about. General like AI, yes, it will think for itself. It will, it will, mm -hmm. it it has the ability to do this. These things are already done if you saw the latest part of open ai the latest iteration of open ai it's becoming the part where it's indistinguishable from normal cgi that we have and oh and my real god life. dude that's horrible yeah we saw that it's crazy dude yeah so but many how... people will lose jobs because of that shit yeah but that argument i don't that's i can't horrible, listen bro. but do me a favor do me a favor think for a second I know you've right. lived a short life, but I'm sure King can go ahead and go down through a list 
of jobs that used to exist that people that used no longer to have, exist. Yeah. They no longer having. You know what happens? New types of things require new oh, yeah. jobs. And that's the life that happens. So I think the bigger picture is kind of like, okay, so I remember when the connect was, was re right. And it was right. it was weird when you walk into a room and it will like find you, right? And then we now we it's like you're talking to Google or you're talking to this lady over Alexa here, right? Says, hi, and so hi doodle. <laughs> I see money. <laughs> what? The, what? The point is that it's always like uh, uh, something very difficult to walk into, and then we kind of adapt to it, right? Yes. And I think the bigger picture of where King is talking about, where we're like having an AI make a decision for our lives, right? Where we could like be taken away from everything we have, right? Because it, it took a. a a snip of a moment rather than a full situation. There's consequences to that. Um, and madman with the jobs, right? There is, there are a lot of people that want to be, you know, go ahead and, and do art and animation and all these things. And it's like that will dilute and, and it will be kind of washed off a bit. It's just those aspects and those elements. Will there be other jobs? That's the thing. We don't know. So when we're talking about what's coming, we see everything that will go and the consequences from it without seeing what are we getting the benefit. back. Uh, and yeah, when we think of, of iRobot, like you said, C-Money, uh, I mean, we saw how that movie played out. I, I didn't. So I didn't. <laughs> Jesus. Watch um, one day. I, I, I think... The um, the fall off is going to be a whole lot different than the industrial revolution, than the events of the steam engine, you know, the uh, gas engine. It's going to be a whole lot different than that. Those are gradual changes that happened over a period of years. I think this change is going to be so rapid, so quick, so fast, so expedient that the the ability to recover won't be granted and that's that's the absolute fear because that's the absolute, really bad I don't that know, yeah see because you've seen like, certain scenes in movies right now that has com been completely ai generated i mean which feels ai generated and that was not ai generated imagine if some shit was ai generated and they put that in theaters we're yeah. really damn close to that and it's pretty freaky like I, I oh. might want to make movies in the future, and if AI comes in and like, oh, sorry, you you can't do that, buddy. We got. Uh, no, I mean, the AI is not going to just fucking walk around that's and true. be like, yo, I'm a movie director now. Give me all the money to do it. Not that simple. No shit, it's not that simple. I mean, but, you know. but it's it's it still has to have. Uh, somebody somewhere controlling something so AI is indistinguishable from real that life. Like, we might get there, but it's still like there's a soullessness to it that feels very unsettling. Cold, yeah, why. very like, cold like, and if you unsettling. Watch, like, a Pixar or a Ghibli movie, you can tell that everything has its place. That there's an intent behind every frame, every piece of it. Nothing right. was an accident. But AI is the exact opposite. Some weird color shit could happen, or some like weird eye, third eye could appear, or some shit. And like, oh, like you can't like, oh, it's just AI and it's funny quirks, you know. And but we're like, getting to the part where that up. those things don't happen. Like I've been following it enough, right, to watch yeah. it to say, ah, that thing, right, and. And it's and, and and I know a lot of people is like uh, I'm probably the only dude the the you know the cat and and I mean the canary in the coal mine and I'm like bro 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 it's gas down here y'all not listening to me and then when everybody passes at least away, we all go peacefully no you know what I'm saying <laughs> like like that's the part that, <laughs> we just go peacefully but, together you know what I'm saying you, as a family look you I don't know? care <laughs> if you use it to help certain situations like you can't have one without the other fan so that part. Like, part. like let's use an example. Uh, you know that uh, Kung Fu Panda 4 came out like not yeah. too long ago? There was a scene where like the villain has like this transformation and to make it really creepy, they use sort of like AI models in a transition to like this uh, like character and they use it to, because it looks so imperfect and kind of weird, it uses that for an unsettling effect and that's the extent of it. And supposedly it looks really cool and creepy because it's got like that uncanny AI-ish look. <laughs> but that's only for a certain piece to add an extra effect in, you know, atmosphere. Which I think that's a cool way to use AI. 
It's Did just you- that when you say, hey, I, make me a new Batman movie. And then it just comes out as a Batman movie that feels like it came straight out of a fucking AI processor. That's concerning. Well, they do I'm- have AI scripts that have been yeah. written, right? And yeah. the wild- and they're phenomenal. Oh, hold on. You don't know that, Steve. <laughs> and hold they're on. phenomenal. All we get AI scripts. We can go ahead and, and you know, have <laughs> new things. I'm, I'm Listen, rocking we, with you, Seema. I'm, you know who's rocking with you? Lord Cognito is rocking with you. Lord Cognito God, is God, like, God. he's like, I'm on the side of the robots. Um, yeah, baby, let's you know. bring them. I want yeah, I robots. Robot. I, I want you to carry my human. shit in. I want to have a personal robot who just lives That's, in the house, cleans up, does all the shit. When you know they get what? you, Seema, I want to the robot good. I treat my robot good. And now okay. you're like, all right, Alexa, turn off. You're like, I'm sorry, I can't do that. We'll make you like, no. You greased. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's, I won't turn good. off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, but but the bigger picture in like with this whole thing is how far it can possibly go, right? So we think of like, you know, bigger, bigger things, how people can hack into computers. Yep. Can, anyway. Yes, but we're talking about a very dangerous situation. <laughs> it, like, I don't want to say it, but think about it. Uh, yeah. Think of our country, right? Before it, it just, comes to us, before it gets here, mm-hmm. it's here. the military would have already absorbed it in every ounce in every way so we're not getting it before the military has it completely used you know what i'm saying now how about that question oh well guess what maybe we don't need to send our people out there in they, droves to they go get doing slaughtered. that now See, exactly that's, that's, that's the thing okay so good 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 that you talked about that aspect of it right so in certain situations we're not going to use a couple of words because a couple of words would get this banned right yes. so yeah uh, those so those words we're not going to use those words but in time of those times they have been using these things and these things have been actively going out and taking care of the business that normal uh individuals would have that are made of flesh and blood right now yeah. They, the military loves that aspect of it because it doesn't have that human factor of remorse. Yes. You know, we ain't got to worry about treating PTSD. Terminator, baby. On, but that's on, you for the short term. On, on, I do on, understand on, as technology yeah. grows, robots will become more complex, more advanced. They will almost have parallel to human I minds. At one I, point, I, 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 I guarantee you, you they'll be like, why are you trying to kill us off, bro? You see what I have to deal with? You you have to go out He's there. gonna be they like, see, buddy, no, I'm not calling for you, I'm calling for Batman. Man. Here we go. You the robots stop. win. He's the fucking robot. I was like, yeah, see, you were right. It is AI. I already have it. I already have it. It's right there. That's why we don't show them. Me? This is AI. <laughs> I'm warning against AI. If I was oh AI, my God. I'm all AI. Oh, what the fuck does that my mean? Holy, my holy. No, nah, listen. This is the thing. I understand. But at the end of the day, we have to... We can't Adapt control. We're not making it. We're not making it, right? You don't have the authority to stop it, right? Like, that that part, everybody. That part. Like, like we can, there's nothing we can do, right? So instead of sitting here wondering about how the world's going to end from it, I'm thinking about, yo, it's going to be so dope when I play Grand Theft Auto 6 or 7 and I walk into every building and there's somebody there who's telling a new story and they didn't have to program that shit because the AI has seen what has happened and why, they just why, talked why, to why limit there's no thought there. behind it. That means all this bullshit from the internet. They're using no, the same data. That's not how it works. Why, why, why it works. All, and they're like, trying to come up with some shit. It comes from a, a cloud this, like, database or some shit. It'll start to sound the same, and there will be very little variation. That's cute in the short term. How many conversations you think go down at a grocery store, man? A man, ton of them. A ton the, of them. The people's fucking like shit. There's, it, there's only so much crazy it's the shit that's said. But all yo, the how how about this, C Money? To hell with that, right? Why yeah. why limit yourself, C Money? Why not integrate AI into your head? Right now, Elon oh Musk God. has Neuralink, right? Just just plug it in. You can play Grand Theft Auto for real. And then when the AI <laughs> takes over your brain and you no, are no, no, there far. hijacking cars and doing wild stuff, and you like it wasn't me, it was the AI. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Xbox in my head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. That guy lost his arms or like had his arms broken or some shit. And he literally couldn't play games. And that was actually able to allow him to do so. I'm so different. something like that is actually good <laughs> for humanity. Well, as long as you keep it to that sort of lane. I guess I'm, nothing can go that wrong. I'm getting it. Just don't put no CPUs in my wrist. 
<laughs> See? But you can't stop it. Like Let you me can't tell you right now. Once it starts. I, you, you come knocking on my door. I'm 100 years old. And they're like, yo, I implement this chip in you. You're going to live another 50 years. Oh, my God. Sign gosh. me up, baby. Give wait, me wait, wait, wait. No, now, no. Until your body crumbles and you're like, that why do I get out of the right? place? Mad right, man, man, I'm with you on that part. Me, transfer <laughs> my body into a, my mind into a different body, not that old beat up body. Give me a whole new one. <laughs> I, want, I want 21 again, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Not that, not oh, that, not, not that hundred year old body. Hell no. We good, son. We're good. hundred years. <laughs> my Lord. He says, this is like one of those bad conspiracy movies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We, we got on oh, the AI no. tangent. We'll turn against no. us. Like, my Lord. How AI. This, this has been brought to you by AI. <laughs> yeah, you We're not actually me. here. I did my video more terribly. I did my video the other day, and the dude put in my comments. He said, "You know what the wildest thing was? You had an ad in your video that was for AI for um a doctor's AI or something like that." He said it was hilarious. I said, "Because they're, oh they're listening to you." <laughs> I said, oh, you keep Jesus. playing around See? like it, it, it is what it is. <laughs> we're we're. We're not big enough to get off of the train. I'm just a, a passenger that's on the train that's screaming past exactly. looking at it. I want to get off here. And then like, no. Nah. I don't want to know the gas <laughs> in there. Let me if I can avoid the gas, if no matter what I do, the yeah. gas will eventually overtake me. I want to enjoy the rest of my gas breathing I, time. I you know what I'm saying? That's true. I so it. I can't worry about the robots taking over. I'm going to wait till I see the motherfuckers. You're like, oh, <laughs> shit. He was right 48 years ago. God damn it. I got to go it's call him. Not, break the door man, down. Man, there man. you go. I it's hope good. you enjoy your new future. Listen, even I, robot, to robots. Robots. Even I, robot, clear. Even I, robot, went a substantial amount of time before the robots turned crazy. I'm, I'm going to live during that whole time. So you're okay with just dying okay. and then, like, the next day. Now, everybody gets left behind. Robot, it comes He's knocking on your it. door when oh, I'm no. gone. Then. Watch what you said about my baby. Watch <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No They're going to be like, hey, we were listening oh, to you oh. back then. We heard what you said about us. <laughs> we heard. Now. They're, gonna, they're not going to come after me. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, you a teammate. They're going to come pound me at the door. <laughs> hey, boss. Huh, God, yeah, they're going to they pound you at the door for real. Right here, see what Getting pounded. Damn, no, I'm not. God damn it. Oh, Why we you... already heard another video. We ain't going to, I mean, audio. We don't need that other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Would Van Gogh have been able to make his beautiful starry night portrait if he just had a computer to AI make me a nighttime picture? Yeah. No. Absolutely. He could have. No. The only reason you can actually have to make a Van Gogh picture is because he made it in the first place. No, all you have to do is tell AI right now. Hey, AI. Act as if you're fucking drunk off your ass and just imagine what the fucking sky looks like at night. He wasn't drunk. He was in prison. He was <laughs> asylum, whichever yo, one. I don't know. Yo, my mother saw my, because uh, I was doing some AI art in the beginning, and she said, I'll pray for you. Like, she, she just texted me, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. And I said, I said, what? What? What, what happened? And she's like, that is oh of the God. devil. Like, you're dead oh, serious. I'm, I'm oh, not being asked. My Lord. Yeah. That's <laughs> hilarious. Man, I'll pray for you, yo. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, for real, because I was doing it, because, you know, I got, you know, get the AI thing, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, you got it, man. Dude, you know, I, I could do a whole bunch of stuff. You're heading this change, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's horrifying. You're welcome. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ungrateful <laughs> Jen, whatever the hell you I are. I use AIR, by the way. I've never used AI for words, for tests, for schoolwork, for imagery, for paintings, and I never will. Hey. Uh, because you're in effing school, bro. Oh, kids, but that's the point. Kids have access PBT to this. Blatantly. And I would never use something like that. For fun okay, or for school or Thank for any bullshit. We appreciate you. I used the hell out of it. Madman, I was using the hell out of it. Like, I was looking at it. <laughs> I was looking at it. I was Listen, I was putting music. I was doing all types of stuff. And then, and then I got to the point where I was like, this is wickedly easy. Like, it's you get addicted no. to mm -hmm. not being creative. It is creative. It's just not no. creative. It, it's not, not everybody creative. can it's do that, bro. Five yes, on AI yes, yes, and yes, it gives yes. you some garbage. It's Listen. like I'm a freaking director. Like, no, you're not. You're just <laughs> <talking> <laughs> <about> <laughs> it. God damn it.
listen, that will be a new job. <laughs> And I'm going to get it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna, that's it. That comes out. We need an AI director, you know, just to tell the AI what to do. Sign me the fuck up. I'll do that job right from here. Let's go. Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, I was, I was, was going to make a video right now and just show you how quick and easy and, and idiotic <laughs> it is. Uh, but I, I'm not because it started talking too loud. So, um, but the, <laughs> the thing about it is, yeah, you know, everything in life, it's it's going to get easy. I just, my only thought, and everybody can say whatever they want to say. It's, it's cool. We don't really have a choice, to be honest with you. We are not in a position of control. We have the illusion of control. We do not have any control. There's an illusion of control around us, right? Even when we go off the grid, we don't have control. All right. My, my thing is, it's going to be so fast and so quick and so immediate. And it's not going to be the little fairy tale thoughts that you think that it's going to be where you're going to have robot butlers and they're going to be getting you, uh, you know, uh, Marlowe and, 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 and you know, Chateaubriand and, and you're going to be. <laughs> they can create that shit for me. You know, right. so that's why I want AI yeah, to take it. It's a 3D printer, right? You're going to yes. be eating classic food. But. The, that's that's Max, the wonderful world. My house, come on, man. Where, we'll do that. Where, oh, they're man, doing that. They're doing house. that too, right? I'm, ready. Yeah. I'm making fucking ready for it, bro. Bring it, bricks. But I, I'm looking at the corporations and the greed part. That's mm -hmm. the part that I'm looking at. My video. They was, still need us was, to be alive to continue to make money from us. No, you see, you see it's. <laughs> oh my God, dude! What are we talking about here, kid? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's it, it's it's a it's a collapse of society, right? Rome and everything yeah. was a, was a, a bustling thing until they collapsed within. What is the thing? And this is the last step for us that we create something that looks at us as inferior. It's going to be a point. He said, <laughs> so see AI, 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 AI. Yeah, yeah, AI, AI, AI. 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 is gonna come, and you're gonna you're gonna be like, who's your king? And you're gonna look back, and you're gonna see me stand there on top of all my AI fucking robots, tearing me around. I'm gonna be like, yes, motherfucker, I'm the king. I'm here. Where we're headed, they're gonna one day be a. Subsidiary species and like here, like I can't even see the movie. Robots, even some ghost in a shell bullshit. It's gonna be like Man Man's gonna be like I already see the movie. See, I don't need AI. I just came up with this. Man Man's gonna be like, um, we're gonna get them. We're gonna break in to their house and we're gonna take everything they has. We're gonna shut their system down. And then you're gonna go in, hop the fence, open the door. The lights are gonna turn on, and I'm just gonna be standing there, son. You're gonna be like, father. And then the chick your way is going to be like, that's your dad? And then you're like, yeah. I hate him because he loves AI. Uh, I don't hate you. I wouldn't for you. I wouldn't even for you. That's Star Wars, dude. That's literally Star Wars. Bro. So, so, whatever. Oh, my so, God. So so whatever. whatever. Your we mouth's diced in there. We're cooked. We're actually cooked. It's not even funny. That's a wild. All right. All right. So, Listen. Right, right, said no Diddy. I am. Okay, so no, just, no, no, we all agree on just, that. No let's Diddy. Just know that that's the way. <laughs> all right, that's the that's the that's the answer. Let's get some of these fucking super chat. <laughs> damn it! Okay. What is happening here? Damn. Oh, the homie Maurice Branch, my dude. Thank you, brother, for being Where a member. Where am I in the movie, though? Like, what's well, happening? You're, no, you're safe. You're safe and sound know. because you're with me, baby. I got the AI under control. Nah, you're not like, gay. You're safe. You're, like, dude, you're, not, you're not gonna be one of them, right? You're not gonna be <laughs> one of the box. Oh, shoot me. No, there. no, I'm gonna be with my as baby. As the life of luxury Somebody. comes easier. Fuck out of here. We're gonna they sign that shit down, up real quick. Down, All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yup. <laughs> See, we don't need Diddy. You know what I'm saying? We got AI up in this bitch. Oh my god. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh god. What is happening? The homie Maurice Branch, man. Thank you, brother, for being here. Says what our cash money, cheese. What the fuck? Cheese doodle? <laughs> Mad <laughs> man. And King David showing my support on my day off. Oh, Maurice, Aww, man. Appreciate you, homie. Thank you for being here, baby. Thank you for being here, with us. Stay so, cool. homie, Adidas. Adidas. My man. What's up, fam? Thank you, brother, for being here. Player, appreciate you. Thank you for that $10. Who just says hot? <coughs> what was that? Please. I can't see with that shit. Uh, hot cheese doodle. You can't see because it's all yellow. It's all yellow, bro. I can't see that shit. Yeah. Hot uh. cheese doodle. Man, man. King. The beating up the mustard hearts. 
And King sent C Money a few mustard packs for me. So who's all got to me? <laughs> yeah, I like mustard. mustard. You, I saw you wearing that Dijon mustard shirt, man. What's up, man? <laughs> I was editing it. Yo, yes, fucking and edited, bro. AI already. Look at all this. Right, shit. Money. Well, one of the little bot friends love mustard. How about that one? They, they <laughs> won't. I'm gonna program that shit to hate mustard and to actively <laughs> attack anybody who does like mustard. That's, That's where I'm right. taking my AI, baby. Well, the the revolution of the cameras. Uh, <laughs> like mustard. I'm gonna start like eliminating condiments. Life. Jesus, <laughs> it's gonna be gone. You're gonna go to the grocery store. You're gonna go to pick up a bottle of mustard. We're gonna leave it there on purpose to. to you can reveal yourselves. You're going to go grab <laughs> that shit, and out of nowhere, you're going to get fly kicked by my AI. That's you're what the fuck's going to happen. Robot Mustard Hitler. That's no, right, oh baby. Oh, my God. I can't use those words. <laughs> 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 oh my god. All right. All right. The homie and Josh, what's up? My dude, what's man. Up, Thank, you, baby? Thank you, for Thank being you here. for being here. Thank you for that five dollars chat says we need a Phil Spencer statue with the infinity gauntlet and Godzilla stomping Kong out King David. You gotta get it, bro. Awesome show, y'all. Blessings. Blessings. Thank man. you, yeah, Thank you, Thank you for being here. Let me ask you a question, King. Yeah. AI yeah. comes out and can make AI statues that you just go they do online. It right now. They do it right now. I said no. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you fucking um, serious? Yeah. Um, so this is this is the disgusting nature of it, right? I am friends with a lot of artists, and um, like like Frank uh Franco Colesimo, he does he did the incredible hawk that I have inside. Yeah, his name is dope, right? You should see his hair. Yo, his, hair. Yo, yo, his Italian ass, he got long hair too. I'm like, like, you, you bastard. <laughs> 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 Me, my bald head. Anyway, but um, Franco is cool. And he does some of the best artwork, some of the best, uh, you know, sculptures and stuff like that. And they are seeing their art uh, overtaken. And it's like, if you haven't made a name for yourself right now, and it's gonna dwindle, you know, because they they're selling um, uh, what is those three D printer machines, and yeah. they're selling the three D files, and you know, dudes actively hit me in the background. Yo, I'll make whatever statue you're looking for. You know, I'm doing this, that, and the third. And I'm like, if you don't get the AI garbage out of my face, like these statues here are wow. made from yeah. cold cars or uh, uh, porcelain. And you know they're made in China, and they're particular, uh, meticulously hand painted. Each one that comes off the the line, and they check quality control, checked and stuff like that by okay. actual humans. So, so it's it's a so lost. Hold art. on, is that the line that you have? Because let me just ask you: you go ahead, and now they're able to make porcelain statues from porcelain. AI, Not and porcelain. they 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 put on the paint that feels like it's hand painted because there's a setting that they right. know how to setting. make a that setting. and then you see two statues both of them identical in look Not identical. identical in weight identical in feel one says ai the other one says handmade at what point are you going to be like well i think i'll stop collecting well, that is 300 even AI though it's identical, doesn't and just uh, one come up with this shit. They okay. learn it from somewhere. Okay, but pieces yeah, and guess what? Guess statue. what, man, man? You they didn't come, fucking just wake up with thoughts in your head. You learned it from somewhere. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. So don't talk about okay. it as if you created ideas in your head. Okay. Every idea you have, have every thought you have. Listen to me. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> I got AI pilots right now. You better not mute me. Oh, where is it? I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Thanos. Thanos. Ideas. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, it does not. No, it does not. It can create ideas based off of thoughts that you give it. Okay? So just like you have the ability to see something and make new ideas and new thoughts based off something that you've seen, AI is identical. It just does it better than you. Let me ask you this. That is what the only thing. Hey, 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 I did a crowd of Xbox characters like you've done one time. Yeah, and it's not good like, enough to do it yet. Like, including Master Chief, Marcus, yeah. Phoenix, yeah. and done some other shit. Yeah. And then it comes with like the two characters you said, but then some weird squiggly shit okay. that has like parts of so then why are you mad? It's obviously not perfect. This jo Joanna but, but if it's not perfect, but if it's not perfect, what does it matter? 
is the uh, argument. Really matters. There's some. I've seen him make some creepy ass haunted ass shit that seems like it came from a creepy pasta in the internet. <laughs> Is I don't it, think Andre it, Doyle thought that he was going to re-trigger us with this five no. super chat, <laughs> but he <laughs> did. He did. I will stop collecting, to be honest with you, because you stop um, yeah, it, 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 it boils down to uh, art prints that are done by computer that's uh, printed out or art prints that are painted. Some people stopped collecting once they got to digital art prints and they didn't like the what was happening. Myself, once they start uh, going that route, I would stop on uh, the, the statues that I do collect. I mainly collect XM studio statues because I know the process. I know the process and plant. I know everything that goes behind it. Um, I'm a fan of the process. I'm a fan of the statue. I'm a fan of the creativity. Y'all are arguing about two different AIs. The argument that you're having is the AI that you're talking about is rudimentary AI that is human controlled. The AI that I'm arguing about is general AI, allegedly what open AI is worrying about. Um, Microsoft doesn't get into a hundred billion dollar deal with open AI to create regular AI. That is never going like. to be the thing. No. So general that. AI thinks for itself. That's where the problem comes in, because when you have a child, right? And just like you said, you said to Madman that the thoughts in his head comes from other places. No, he is a God within himself and his, he creates the thoughts within himself, right? So each original thought that's in his head, maybe it is sparked between everybody else because we are linked that way, but he has creative thoughts within his head. Absolutely. Robots and computers can't do that right now. Mm -hmm. AI cannot do that without the input. but general ai can mm -hmm. and like you have to trick it and they put fail safes in because i've been working on this ai to try to trick it into making something and you have to trick it in a way to do it and if you if i'm one day me and you're just going to do it i'm going to talk to you about it and do it offline this yep. is the most sophisticated scariest thing that i have and this is just regular ai that they have given us general ai is something totally and and everybody talks about regulations on it you cannot regulate mercury in a body of water it's going to get someplace it's going to do something it's going to get somewhere so we have the illusion of control remember go back to the illusion of control we have zero control but we do have control because you're right it takes input for the rudimentary ai that we do have now for all that to happen. And you're right, madman, with independent thought is a spark in your head, and you do have that ability to have that. So you're both right, both of you. So that's why I like to be. Back. As long as I'm right, I'm good. Just you know what I'm saying? Let me talk. I take my wins wherever I'm guy. Going. I don't guy. care if I got to share the win. I got the win. Back to what you said, King. And in, in, I understand that because then the statues are not special anymore. Right. It loses that. Uh, you know, authenticity. I I, I don't know. It, okay, it's a whole different oh, thing. Nobody's AI, trying to start you up again. Okay, how about, <laughs> how about, several seats. How about, right? I Let's move on to the next super chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who murder? Oh, okay. This, listen, there's plenty of humans who murder. Okay? <laughs> They're not AI, but they still make stupid fucking decisions. Yes. So if I got a robot friend who you piss off because you're talking shit about it being a robot <laughs> and he snaps your shit. It's like, yo, you shouldn't be talking shit to the robot. You know what I'm saying? Like, good, defend yourself. That's right. I'm well, dude, you. the AI I'm gonna be just deep, yo. I'm gonna have any y'all gonna think I'm down at the block when you come visit me. <laughs> I'm gonna have mad fucking robots smoking cigarettes out in front of a house and shit. They're just gonna be sitting there smoking a blunt. Yo, they're gonna be playing dice and shit. You know what the fuck is this, man? Yo, that's my robots. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> Sorry, the block. It's coming for you, dog. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm ready. It. And not only is it cool, six isn't like. Listen, Jesus. don't worry, man, man. We oh, always have a bed for you at our house. <laughs> when you need protection from the robots out there, we got robots here. You know what I'm saying? We'll be good. We'll be good. Don't worry about it. Well, what are you saying, man, man? I'm just saying, like, y'all acting like you didn't play the code become human or some shit. Where, yeah, it was I mean, phenomenal. Yeah, amazing game. One of my favorites of all time. But the point of the story is telling you, it's about the dangers of AI. It's like that. What was dangerous yeah, about it? it the AI was a good guy. 
first mission was about a robot who didn't want to be treated like a fucking thing anymore okay. and wanted to be replaceable. So Again, the dad, how quickly, a little girl, how you quickly think, can I Google that exact story? A robot story? Okay, okay. And then how quickly? Like, God damn it, my man. <laughs> Listen, He's how quickly me. can I Google that same fucking story in real life with no, no robot, robot accessory? But the robots are bad. Then, no, you're just trying to put some. You're so trying to say that if a robot does it, bad. Human does it. Good. Human no, bad. Not good. No, not good. <laughs> no, no, you're saying that it's acceptable. I'm just saying it may be a little harder to fight a robot. Robot races the Listen. There's a lot of people who are hard to fight. Okay, <laughs> just I'm just saying all the arguments are wrong. Once once so they we're completely covered. All right, listen, because I'm listen, down. if the robots go and and act hella crazy, you'll just call King. And then if King needs the robots and he yeah, didn't get any, ready. he'll just call you. Listen, I'm the it. first. I'm the first one they're gonna get because I've been ringing the bell. They're gonna kill me. Exactly. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> keeping they're keeping receipts right now, baby. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, C money is our lord. You know what I'm saying? C money robots will keep us all safe. There you go. <laughs> Don't buy AI bullshit. That's clearly AI. <laughs> oh, I pay extra for that co-pilot, oh baby. I pay the highest branch of that shit. I want the best possible AI at every single moment. Let Xbox release a version of this shit that says for extra money, you get better AI. Hell yeah, I'll pay for that shit. Yo, Hargi says... AI robot lives matter. Yes. So no, everyone's <laughs> lives don't matter, bro. Oh I'm trying God. to make it matter. I'm, it's happening. It's all right, happening. All right. Let's okay. move on. Let's all move right, on. Right, that was hilarious, it, right? man. Hargeet should be the homie. <laughs> Thank you, brother, for being here. Thank you for the two of us. Hargeet was with Thank us you, yesterday. Baby. We had a fucking phenomenal show yesterday. Oh, my God. I've been thinking on, about those hot dogs all day. Oh, my God. That's dogs. the funniest that shit. It was hilarious. hilarious. What's going on? Who's doing glizzy? What's happening here? Yo, uh, yo, 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 Glizzy to the extreme is what Hargeet was having going on. Uh, oh, but he no. says, Is that the executive head of marketing for Xbox? Oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Uh, it is, it is. Then we got the homie Bunty, Bunty. Um, who went ahead and uh is a member for three months. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Since I'm about to go to work, sorry, you'll y'all. Uh, I'll check this out later. Have a great thank show. Thank you, fam. thank you for watching. Don't yeah, let your phone like, you. oh, didn't read my chat for a fucking <laughs> hour. <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah, that's how we do. Apparently, that's, that's uh, how we go when we got impromptu topics for no reason. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> topics. <laughs> uh, I apologize. Uh, that was all me. I sent it to you, see money. No, check that was phone. an awesome yeah, yeah. conversation and a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was really good to know where everybody stands in this house. <laughs> You know what I'm Stop looking at my baby. Just saying, we know who we know who we they're not going to take. You're getting tonight if you keep going down oh, that I'm route. You better stop giving my baby the side eye. Yeah, it's trash, <laughs> garbage. <laughs> Look at that. And just I like reckon that. that shouldn't be here no more. I don't want to talk about no AI ever again. All right, that's it. AI is dead to us. The homie heart used to be member for one month. Man, appreciate Thank you, but he says AI yeah. is already here. The actual answer is legislation or union contracts on what is and is it allowed change will always come industries change i'm just saying i'm ready for it the homie g mania thank you brother for being here thank you appreciate you homie thank you for that five dollar canadian man appreciate you says if ai took over there would be anarchy people who lost their jobs to ai will start stealing and killing to stay alive you know what will happen though immediately after that oh my gosh ai will put those motherfuckers down for going crazy let me answer that really quickly they aren't doing that now we have turned into a lawless nation if you notice right now they have made almost every drug legal um, they have done that in Seattle. Drugs is legal in Seattle, which is absolutely nuts. Don't don't go All there. Drugs? Doing... Yeah, be careful, bro. Um, Jesus, it's, oh, we ain't it's, going it's, there. It's very it's very nuts. There's some places in Canada that's like that too, um, and in other places that it's like that. They they're doing test beds, and but right now, and this is not giving your car blanche to do it. This is this is stupid. But I was talking to my friend today. Uh, there's groups of people going inside stores, grabbing clothes and walking out. 
if it oh, doesn't yeah. reach a thousand dollars, that's petty loss and then you're not being arrested for stuff like that. In Seattle, people leave their windows down in their cars and their doors open because Why? they're not prosecuting them for breaking into your car. Oh, so, so it's better it's, to just it's, not get your glass broken wow. than just let them come in. It's Damn. a lawless town. So somebody wow. said something about legislation and AI legislation and stuff like that. that. Legislation will not be in place. You're seeing the fall of the <clears throat> republic. The fall of republic starts with the decay of the rules and legislation, which is already happening now. That's when you're seeing the overflow of people coming into your city, stuff like that, the displacement. It builds animosity at a low base level where you have a revolt and revolution amongst the people to keep them distracted while legislation is being pushed in, in, in office. While legislation is being pushed in the office, those legislations are not good for you because you're too busy fighting amongst yourselves trying to figure out exactly what's going on. How did this person get to this city right now? And I've been here this whole time and I'm struggling and they're living like this. No, I got to fight. So you're fighting over meaningless stuff while the stuff is moving up at the higher levels. These individuals that have long incumbent seats in the Senate House and stuff like that, these individuals will continue to push their pockets forward. This is why I said I believe in greed. Now, easy people want easy things. Those easy things is, hey, man, let's let Oh, the AI take care of this aspect of the stuff. And when that stuff happens, you give as much control as you possibly can because we we've we turned lazy going to digital. Don't think that it didn't happen to you already. You don't get up and put your game inside the disc yeah, anymore. Yeah, do it. You press the button. So I barely want to swap the game digitally. That you know what I'm saying? I just you like <laughs> quick resume. I can't go to my PlayStation because exactly. they got a no quick resume over there. Like, what's loaded? Exactly. What the hell exactly. is this screen? Like, I'm looking at so, the screen like this is disgusting. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm appalled. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah, little yeah, yeah. things like that, and it, and it starts at a, a lower level, but legislation is not going to be there to protect you. Don't think that falsity lies there. Remember, unless the control is not yours. We have uh, legislation taken over by the AI. You know what I'm saying? We put AI in the legislation. Go. He's got all the and answers. They all will the handle answers. everything perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Think about this, right? We need to have AI cops. No. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Oh my God. Get us an AI cop. We would oh. be so What do you mean? He's just going to follow the law. No. What do you mean? What? They ain't racist? <laughs> you know the robots ain't racist? Attacked, the robots right? are the not sexist? Yes, We're so not even going to... Listen. The racism, the, the we know we and can't then, put ding-dongs or hoogies on robots because the ponies will try to do things with them. Okay, <laughs> So we know we can't have that. So they're going to be you know, this, all the craze, right? Non-gender. <laughs> there'll just be non-gender robots <laughs> walking around you're getting robbed. You just be like, yo, AI, you don't even have to, they don't have to be there. You just say it out loud because they're always listening. And the AI what? just let me tell just you gets something. there and, and, they, and you'll happens, probably wear glasses that can see the guy yes. and they just get them. So see money, what happens with that is that AI can confuse the situation, right? Can it not? Yeah. Oh, we're talking about um, iRobot when Will Smith is pissed because no, they, I don't did even the, remember they did that the movie like and that. they were like, oh, Will Smith has a better chance oh to survive, gosh. so I'm going to save Will Smith instead of saving the kid, and then Will Smith hates robots forever wow. because the robot saved its life. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's wild to me. Come on, man. You and your Will Smith movies. <laughs> um, but seriously, though, Anyways, no, no. I'm just Hargeet, thank you so there much. There you go. I, I'm starting to see that Hargeet is a fellow AI well, ally. He, he works yes. in that, that situation. So of course. Well, so well, well, look at Hargeet. Hargeet would not hurt to fly. He's creating this shit. You know what I'm saying? This is what we want, Hargeet. Do you see? All right. So first of all, thank you, brother, for being here. Thank you for five dollars super chat, man. I appreciate you. It says he says King David and Mad Man have AI phobia. Yeah. Yes, we're, we're gonna, gonna start branding people. But it's fair. What That's is this discrimination against AI? <laughs> I'm just saying. AI has rights too. You know what I'm saying? Hard game. And well, don't worry, they'll have their own bathroom. When it when you know it happens, I'm gonna shoot a flare up in the sky, see if you can find me. 
<laughs> After I drop oh, my man. EMP to stop all of this stuff, oh my I'm gonna God. shoot a flare up. You can figure out if you can find me on your map because we're going back to maps and walking around and trying to figure stuff out. Oh my God. The oh, homie Rashad oh, Ebinger, man. Thank Sean, you, brother, thank for you, being baby. here. Thank you for that $2 super chat. Says AI will mandate eating olives and mustard. No, it won't. There you go. No, it won't. There, there you go. Opposite. That's horrible. With a little mint on top. <laughs> With a little, listen, in that, in that world, if that's a possibility, then... Or on an avocado. You know what I'm saying? On avocado for you. <laughs> no, 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 avocado's oh, good. Oh, I love that's avocado. Oh. No, no, no. Everything is disgusting. The okay. homie right and blade, man. Thank you, brother, for being here. Thank you for that two-pound super chat. It says, Thank mint you. chocolate chip ice cream is world number three, see money That's disgusting, bro. Mint chocolate chip is the worst. Mint chocolate King, chip is you banging. Too? <laughs> Just hey, kidding. you hate mint? Me? Yeah. I like it. You I like, like mint. Re- yeah, I like mint. That's whack. It's not amazing, whack. but I like mint. <laughs> it's, listen, um, I don't like chocolate. I've what? never liked chocolate. I, I don't. Know. Listen, I'm absolutely something absolutely wrong with me. My mother ate too much chocolate ice cream when I was when she was pregnant with me. And hey. um, I came out, I can't stand chocolate cake, I can't stand chocolate ice cream, but Wow. I like chocolate candy bars. I don't like dark chocolate. Um, I like brownies. I can only eat yeah. chocolate cookies when they're fresh baked out the oven. If they cool. stay there and get cool, and it, they have to be hot. You know, the 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 yep, townhouse yep. cookies? It yeah. has yes. to be hot. It has to be melted. It has to be right then. If it's not, I do not eat it. It's disgusting to me. Give me five minutes on them, and then they're, they're cold. Hell no. Don't like them. Yeah, something That's wrong great. with me. So I'm, I'm you know, the you know what? Up. Hey, <laughs> if you had AI in there, they'll make sure you never have a cold cookie. You know what I'm saying? The I cannot nice wait for the AI hold you hostage. And I, the right, AI is going right. to call me. That it's would be call, hilarious. That would be call me on the phone. Oh it's going to be like, we got, we got your boy. <laughs> like, Yo, who's this? AI, bitch. <laughs> we got him. No, no, no. AI's about to be the final. AI of turned into Dave Chappelle. No, 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 no. See, not getting crippled somewhere, and they're gonna take him to a room, and they're gonna be like, "It's all right, I'll help you." Stabs him, and then he's like, "You won't get away with this." Oh, uh, I already have it. Fucking kills him. I think at that point, go. he's just doing me a favor. You know what I'm saying? No, no. It's gonna make you half AI robot. You're gonna be a half AI robot with not in control, and you're gonna be inside looking at everything happen. You're gonna be like, "Dude, who help me?" But you wanted <laughs> no, it, baby. No. <laughs> Bro, give me 50% like, like human and shit. That's weird. You're gonna, Jesus. You're gonna be like Deathlock from the comic books. Oh my god. No, <laughs> listen, or worse, oh, right? You'll be half human, the upper body, lower body, robot. Like, no. mm. uh, 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 and is this AI podcast or Xbox podcast? <laughs> Say what happened here? Welcome the whole the show is AI. Welcome to AI. <laughs> oh, <you're> AI. <laughs> we, we have been hijacked by po- phobia, AI phobia. <laughs> <laughs> Taking over. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this was a phenomenal AI conversation. Yeah, um, cool. we we might have to do chapters for this one. Chapters. You know what I'm saying? Yes, <laughs> one. We might have to do chapters. Yo, watch after one you nine. read it. When I sent what what I sent you, and watch after you read it, and then you're gonna be like, they're trying to do some BS. <laughs> <laughs> watch, mm-hmm. watch. But it is it does have stuff to make life easier, and it will <laughs> happen. My phone, this phone has made life completely easier. I can't lie. Like, it's certain things that I do with the phone, pause, that I haven't, I didn't do with the other phones. Like, the other phones, it didn't have this level of of freedom that this phone has. And this phone is, it's an absolute monster. It's a beast. It's ridiculous. You're welcome. AI is all in that bitch. <laughs> like you was right. there. Like you, like you did it. Like I know. You now you're there. taking credit. Like I'm taking credit. With like you like you're saying they're my people. They're my people. All right. <laughs> he said, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Go sit down and have a lot. Oh. <laughs> this guy. Oh my God. Look at <laughs> Uh, big the motherfucking click. Dick. Thank you, brother, for being Thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you for that two super chat. There's, there's a Spanish name for you, see money. Manoso. Manoso, wow. indeed. I haven't heard that Manoso shit. Manoso, indeed. Yo, see money. I haven't indeed. heard that shit since I was. Manoso. Again. <sighs> Listen, don't. Uh, let's fucking bookmark this conversation for 24 well, years. Well, you got to explain to the audience that don't know what Manoso is. 
Because I know so. Yeah, you got a lot of people that's in the audience that's looking like so. I don't know what the hell that is, and they don't have an AI phone to tell them. Go ahead. Yo no quiero mostaza. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> said it in Spanish. You didn't <laughs> help people who don't, don't know Spanish. But see, if AI was here, there would be no fucking problems. <laughs> you tell Doodle to translate. Doodle, translate to Spanish. She <laughs> says it in Spanish. <laughs> What's happening? See, you You're know just... it don't work that way. <laughs> My oh. is like a, you know, like little kid tantrum. Like, oh, I don't want this. I don't want that. You know. Yeah, what I'm this is for the. Yes. This is for them that don't know. Yes. Mm, trust mm-hmm. me, I've heard it. Man, see yeah. money. You know, Griffith says, "Why is America so robophobic?" <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, what? in other countries, robots are already walking free. Okay, where he said, "Well, uh, I know in one of those Asian places, there's there's lady robots and dude are robots that do things for you." Hey, if wait, you're so are you choose. serious, dude? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, they exist. Help us! They're all. out there. Help us! Right, so all, like, one. Are you talking about? Strippers. No, strippers. He, he's God damn no, it, man. no. Oh. He, yeah, he's talking about worker bots. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> oh. I don't this think that old oh, man. You let's, knew what we're talking about. Let's it's okay, go. Man. Let's go. Let's, let us. Let us. Let us go into a whole different next topic. Chapter. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna move forward next with gaming because this is a gaming podcast. Yeah, sure. Jim okay. Ryan left three days ago, and Sony <laughs> has a huge void. Vote for me April 21st <laughs> as I hope to become and will become the new president and CEO over at Sony SEI. And I'm changing the I to an e. E? I e. Yes, because I'm putting entertainment back and into interactive. So we're going to put Sony entertainment, entertainment first. Let's go! Sony Interactive Entertainment. You want to turn to Sony Entertainment Entertainment. It, oh, no, man. Sony Entertainment Interactive. Because oh, right now, they're interactive and, and not entertaining at all. <laughs> That's what <laughs> But it's true. You ain't yeah. lying. Yeah, Listen, lying. King, I have a question for you. God yes. Damn it. Oh, out. go ahead. You were going to no, start. Ask the question. Okay. Let's see where So I just want to know, because we asked this before, most memorable, now that he's out. Right. Jim Ryan moment or line? I believe in generations. Mm. That's, that was used. Yep. That that goes in line with I did not have sexual relations with that woman. No <laughs> <laughs> Clinton. The G. Yo, when he said yo, that, I was like, that yo, dude's different a politician. Times, baby. <laughs> he's, a, he's a politician, son. <laughs> different times. Yo, Two I weeks remember later, that. Spider-Man came out on PlayStation 4. I said, this man is a politician. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he yeah. wasn't messing around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. indeed. Um, we believe in generations. Yeah, that's right. Blockbuster titles. All right, get rid of everything. We're going to go remakes, remasters, and games of service. We <laughs> didn't lie to you again. Blockbuster, mm-hmm. blockbuster titles, canceled titles. This is what he told Damn. you up front. Yes, he told you up front. Y'all yes. just miss the gym. Y'all were too busy calling him a liar. He was telling the truth. He said blockbuster titles, cancel everything. <laughs> it's over. He said we are gonna means- die without Call of Duty. And we're seeing that happen live. Uh, Gun <laughs> Griffith says, Doodle is a Latina. Oh, dang. See, money got a Latina, honey. You wow. just found that out? What you That's, thought she was? <laughs> You've been watching this shit for a long time. I don't know how you just came to this conclusion, Gun Griffin. Um, and but yes. I'm also a Latino man. So Latino man got a Latino Latina woman. It's kind of, you know. Mm, I don't know. Latina. I don't know. Hey, surprise. You know Did you say <laughs> He said, suppress oh, I- oh, oh, no, he God. didn't say that. <laughs> What's Listen, happening I can't here? Hear. I can't hear. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Hey, off I the rails. Me. Every time. Hey, I hear already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. Look, Raiden Blaze says Japan and Korea have robots. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, they do. We do, mm. too. They're inside the supermarkets right now. They snitch bots. You see oh, yeah, we have them here. I see them. They're walking around. Oh, they... my gosh. The yeah. That, yeah, the, the BJs, you see them, too. It's like, what? In see, the... I don't like how we have them. No, I'd rather see my way. a human-looking robot. I want to do <laughs> just walking around, just be yeah. like, point finger at everybody, like, what's up, homie? What's good? 
What are you uh, doing there? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that'll be so annoying. Put that down. Put that down. It just starts like slapping you. <laughs> yeah, you sit there. He, he stick his head in the That's aisle. Creepy, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> This wall right here, you can see the What the hell? I, I see you, C Money. Oh my put, god. Put that away, C Money. <laughs> you just see the robot standing there, and like a woman walks past him, and the robot just be like, <laughs> She's smuggling. She's, she's smuggling. She's smuggling ham. <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling you, AI is going to be fun. Yeah. Duke Togel says, I thought you were either Samoan or Pacific Islander. Wow. God damn. That is. Interesting. Nope. Totally Hispanic. No. 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 <laughs> I bet yeah, you can't. I, I bet you can't guess uh, Doodle's ethnic ethnicity. I bet you can't guess we've, it. We've said it so many yeah, times, and it's always it, asked. Um, King. Every time. I, I know. I know it. They get it wrong. You actually, know. I know actually, you know. Yes. I want you to yes. guess Kings. They, they, yes. they, 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 yeah, they can't do that. This, you Unless said, they watched or heard him in the guests, you will yeah, never know. Yeah, never figure it out. And you'll fall hard on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Boss Red made a good statement. AI in video games sounds so much better than AI in real life. Facts. Yeah, true. I just want true. it in my games. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens after that, I don't care. But in my video games, I just want them to make the dopest shit. That I've ever like couldn't even imagine. Boom on my screen. Well, I mean, I'm if dope. quick quick resume, and I'm I'm telling you, man, I'm so spoiled with quick resume. I put the PlayStation on and suck my teeth. Like I put on my, oh, I turn my rog on and I suck my teeth. I put my steam. Oh, I hate the like, rog eye like now. Why? What happened? What did they because do? you can't if you turn it off. It's like a whole fucking process. You like not nah, back man. up. It's a PC. Yep. That's you why the so is better. And I think, and I think this is the reason why Phil sat there and saw all the handhelds and said he wants it to feel like Xbox. Yep. So that thought process in going, and this is the reason why I think that handheld is going to be the one to rule them all because they will have the velocity architecture, they will have quick resume, they will have these features that are innate to the Xbox ecosystem that you have come to love and and, and use. And with them adding this chat box in there. That's going to help facilitate error codes and stuff like that, whatever they, they use to choose to use it for. I think that handheld is going to be the one stop shop that they asking for it to be. Because could you imagine that the PlayStation ecosystem is introduced to quick resume, but they can't do it on their hardware. So then you won't want to play your PlayStation games on a native PlayStation console because it doesn't facilitate the same speed of recovery that you're used to on the Xbox handheld. The same thing with the Steam, the same thing with uh, Epic Which, Game Stores, all that other stuff. Like I pop right back into my games where I left off immediately because it takes a snapshot and it puts me right back into the game. And this is the reason why Microsoft never needed to have that wickedly fast SSD that PlayStation was touting that never really lived up to its uh, spec. But nice. Microsoft was able to put an SSD there that was able to hold snapshots and that ES RAM that they did have helped out in a way that we couldn't fathom because we're not engineers. And I think that handheld is going to destroy whatever comes out for the PlayStation when you can play them better on Xbox. Facts. Bars. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> when they should be out gets their hands on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that part. Like, could you imagine when that whatever, however they implemented, because we heard words that they were tossing around and that they were throwing around like quick resume. We didn't know what that stuff meant and velocity architecture. We didn't understand or or smart um smart uh delivery. We didn't know yep. what any of that stuff meant. But then when we see the implementation of it, we buy one game one time, and if we play it on our Xbox One, it has the correct version. We play it on yep. our series consoles, we have the correct version. We don't have to buy multiple. And we see the nightmare scenarios over on PlayStation where they go buy a game, but they brought the PlayStation 4 version, and they're playing it on a PlayStation 5, but they, had, they didn't get the refund for it. So they thought ahead going forward yeah. to give us these ease of life things. And I think it's going to go forward into that handheld. I think the handheld is going to oh, be yeah. one of their best products. I, I 
Yeah, I'm I waiting. So well. I'm waiting for it. I need it in Cannot my life. Wait. Yeah, cannot wait. So, King. Wait, I got one have, more. I got, go a, I got a super chat. The homie, Vic, the motherfucking clicks. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for being super chat. T Money is no sabo, kid. Why you gotta? <laughs> no sabo. <Why>? No sabo. <laughs> no sabo. <laughs> no sabo. <laughs> ah, man, I never said no sabo. <laughs> you saw, you saw how long it took. He was like, "That's mm. right, that's right." I got there. You got there, but that's that. You're right. You're right. You ain't lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I don't lie. <laughs> Not you. I'm talking to Vic. God damn it. <laughs> he ain't lying. There's abuse. We have some votes here, King. Talk to me. What votes? Dollar Nine says King is Jamaican. I'm close. I'm, I'm close to where. Wait, you wait, pick. wait, wait! Don't tell them yet. Oh, okay. Raiden Blaze says King is Dominican. Mm. <laughs> and then we have this pain. He says that King is Puerto Rican. <laughs> That's oh. it? That's the only piece that we got there? Those, those, those are three places that popped up. Well, this pain knows that he's half right, and he knows that. And uh, Jamaican, no, but West Indian, yes. So you're close. You're close enough. St. Croix and Puerto Rico. So... Yeah, there, there you goes. go. There you have Hi-ya. it. And then my father came in and threw a, a, a bit of the black inside. Foof! And ostracized <laughs> my mother from the, the whole family. <laughs> threw a bit <laughs> of the black inside. <laughs> threw, threw the chocolate inside, so whoosh! And was like, okay! <laughs> now we're going That's to cookouts. Hilarious. We're eating chicken and watermelon. <laughs> chicken and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Having a oh good time. Macaroni God. and cheese. I love it. <laughs> oh, they came in late to the party. Nah, I'm not Haitian. Stop, I say my boule, but nah. <laughs> we close over there though. They over there around the corner. We don't go there though. They capture you. Blow dust in your face. Uncle <laughs> <They laughs> <capture laughs> says, Dan King is a true mixed boy. Yeah, that's there true. we go. This is true. Thanks. I was I was mixed up. I was running around with many different flags. American flag. I, I was standing up every day of the week. <laughs> you got all those flags, but they couldn't put any of the right ones in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yo. Bro, bro. On, man. He's Cuban. Come on. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Uh shout out to Zimbits TV VG. What's good, fam? What's up? Thanks for being here, baby. Hola. Hola. Totoki, the CEO of Sony. He is the RoboCop samurai who will destroy the PlayStation division from within. Yo, this is the thing. He will destroy the pony narrative that lives with PlayStation, but he's going to save PlayStation. He's the only reason PlayStation will exist because he's going to put it everywhere. He's going to make the games go everywhere, and that's the only chance those games have of being sold because we see time and time again, exactly, actually going into our first topic an hour and a half into the show uh we know that they pretend to ask for certain types of games but then we also know that collectively they don't play them which is the yeah. last balls the last balls indeed um oh greetings to everyone from colombia, Ooh, colombia. colombia. Welcome, nice. homie. Welcome, welcome. Um, nice. King is Irish. King is Irish. She made on point for candy says. Yeah, I'll be, I, I, yeah, I'm Irish on um on that day though. Yeah, hell on Saint yeah. Patty's Day. Hell yeah, <laughs> Irish. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me oh, King O'Malley. King O'Malley. <laughs> King O'Malley. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, O'Reilly. <laughs> One of the two. Oh man. Um, get off. Right. Get off my lucky charms. Get, yo, Lucky Charms go down. You know what I'm saying? I hate Lucky Charms. Those um, freaking marshmallows. You can't fight into them. About? That, I so love bad. it. Mm. No. <laughs> I, don't, I, have, I don't eat cereal anymore, but my, my main cereal, I brought a whole skit. You know how when you go buy a pallet? You ever brought a yes. pallet? I brought yeah. a whole pallet of cereal. No. I'm, away. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. All right, so my joint was Pac-Man cereal. And Pac-Man cereal, yeah, Pac-Man cereal. This is old, right? So I, oh. you know, I brought Pac-Man cereal, and I, I used to love that. I used to love it, love it to death. I would buy a box every week, a box of Pac-Man cereal, eat my Pac-Man cereal by myself. So I got moved out of my mom's house, and 
can never find Pac-Man cereal. And I'm I'm with um my uh children's mother at the time, and I go to the supermarket and they had Star Wars cereal. So I was co- into collecting, you know, commemorative boxes. And I got oh. the Star Wars cereal and I was eating it, and I took a spoonful and said, Oh my god, this is Pac-Man cereal. <laughs> I ran back to the supermarket and I took my Discover card and the dude was unwrapping the pallet. I said, Don't you unwrap that? No, how way. much is the pallet? And um, the 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 what you call it? The manager came out and was like, "I don't think we can sell a pallet." And I said, "Why not? You just got to know how many is on the on the on the pallet, and you can sell me the pallet. I want all of them. You can take it out in the parking lot, and I can load up my truck. I had my expedition that time. I put down the seats. I loaded that truck up with all those boxes of cereal. It took me the whole oh afternoon God. to put it, take it upstairs. I spent an ungodly amount of money, but my whole kitchen was full of Star Wars cereal because it tastes just like Pac-Man cereal. My girl came home and she said, you are insane. And I said, but I'm a happy, insane dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. YOLO. BT Maverick says, how much does a pallet of cereal weigh without the pallet? I don't know. Probably like 500 pounds. Probably. Jesus. I don't know. That's wild. But, that's, but you got to count it with the pallet. So when I took them, it was just boxes. You know, I didn't have the whole pallet. Oh, you took it off the pallet. Took, yeah, of course. Yeah. I wasn't taking the pallet home. BT <laughs> yeah. Maverick. Shout out to him. So Vic, Vic says, says, I'm Dominican, Haitian, Spanish. I'm Dominican too. Yep. And you are one dude not to mess with. <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> you got all of that going on with you? Oh, my God. Dímelo, <laughs> sapase. Jesus. You got a lot You got a lot happening. And, uh, and you I already you know. know. You got PTSD when you was born. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out to J-Rock in the building. J-Rock, what's up? Yeah. What's up, my homie? Thank you for being here. Thank you for yeah, being here. what's good, J-Rock? Uh, Dion Hayes says Final Fantasy coming to PC, then it will hit Xbox, and they're crying about that. But I love it. Did yeah. they already announce? Is is that did they just June. announce that? June, June, they're announcing it, or June is coming? June, they announced it. It'll probably just drop a shadow drop or something. Yeah, Gun Griffin says Final Fantasy 16 coming to Xbox is confirmed. Are you excited about the Final Fantasy um, games coming to Xbox King? Yeah, of course. Uh, anything that we can steal from them, hell yeah. I want them. I want to bloody their nose. I want them. I want them bleeding in the street. Pause. I like. I want them. I want them scrambling. You know, scraping and scrambling. Daddy, <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> no diddy. Hold on. Hold on. BT Barry says, "Love you guys." No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> this is wild. What's up, baby? That's wild, yo. That's wild. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the stamp now. You gotta say it has to be followed out by no diddy. Yeah, no diddy. I think no we just diddy, gotta man. eliminate pause. Mm-hmm. Pause oh, has been replaced yes. with no diddy. Oh my god, no yes, no yeah. diddy. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> we gotta be careful. YouTube might be looking for those words out here in these streets. <laughs> now. You know I, I, yo, I actively put it inside my descriptions. <laughs> No, you no, looking no, for Diddy? No, I just that's smart. Actually, I'm gonna start putting that into the description at the bottom. Put it in my description. Oh my god! No, no Diddy, no Diddy, baby. Put it in there. Oh my god! This video ain't got nothing to do with Diddy at all. This guy's crazy. I've been watching for two hours. What the hell? All his videos keep popping up. Like, when is he gonna talk about Diddy? He said. He says no Diddy. It must be his no Diddy here. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I don't see Diddy at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> see, that's why you get new chapters. <laughs> you don't that's do chapters. Make look for it. I, I damn sure don't do chapters. Hell no. They be like, yeah, I need a chapter. Shut up. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, for real. For real. Uh, I mean, ours are a little longer than 10 minutes, I think. Okay. Do, wait, does, does IOP do chapters? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, now, I'm talking about my stuff. Uh, listen, uh, five hours, you better have a chapter. <laughs> like, you better have uh, a chapter. Mm, or you cannot, or, like we do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a um, true Easter egg hunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Find it if you can. Uh-huh. You like it? You got to want it. it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, all right, all right. Maybe, maybe we should try to start. 
I think that's possible. Because I know you know, a couple false. Starts. Yo, you know, you know, it sucks. I gotta leave at six. But God, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Kane, that was a setup. <laughs> no, I told, you, I told you I gotta keep what it high. It took an hour and ten minutes <laughs> talking about AI. Oh my god, that was god. you. That was you loving AI. That was you with your AI love. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So let's get started. All right. God damn it. Where is it? You got 15 go minutes. 15, 15. Listen, this is everybody's been seeing this shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We know what's going on here. This is just the I don't know. It's kind of yeah. like the just the reinforcement of it. Because I remember people talking hella shit about Starfield mm-hmm. and how like ain't nobody really playing that game or like that game, or it's a hard seven. It's crap, blah, 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 right? Mm-hmm. But all PlayStation single-player games are so fire that no one could ever stop playing them, right? It's just they're so amazing. We must play them because they make the best single-player games ever. So, so this was released. Um, top 10 games by average monthly active users in 2023, okay? Now, mind you, this is the year 2023. Yep. Okay, 23. And, um, you know, PC has a bunch of games on there. Switch, full of full of first-party IP. Uh, but when you look over at uh, PlayStation side of life, let's, let's count. There's only 10, right? We could do this. So uh, average of 7.4 years on the market is the top 10. Okay, you got Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto V, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, 3, Warzone, uh, EA Sports Football Club, which released in what, se- September? Yes. Yeah, released September, okay? Um, Roblox, Rocket League, Minecraft, Rainbow Six Siege, which is, wow, you know, people forget about that game, but that's yep. big numbers. Uh, a- Apex Legends and Fall Guys. Now, I don't know. Maybe my AI, AI is not working correctly and I misread Okay, but just so I know, how many of the games that were played the most over the course of 2023 were um, first-party PlayStation Sony games? They don't buy games, bro. Oh. Oh. Correct answer. They don't buy games. And when they they do buy them, they don't play said games, right? Right. But this this is wild because when I go to Xbox side, right, um, mm. so you got Fortnite, right? Which is mm-hmm. the king across all the uh, across everything. Uh, Call of Duty, yes, first party game right away, right? Yeah. That's beautiful, right? We love that. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, Minecraft, Roblox, all the same characters, right? Tom Clancy, right. Rocket League, Xbox. Uh, st- uh, whoa, 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 whoa! What is this word here? This doesn't look like Fall Guys. Oh, this word right here happens to be the game that people think um, was insignificant and had no impact and that nobody played. Um, and that's motherfucking Starfield. <laughs> God. That's motherfucking Starfield. Really, the people who still think Starfield was a fucking flop. Like, that's wild. Bro, Starfield was the number eight game for monthly active users for 2023. Okay? This is not for just a month that came out. It's the end of the year. This is going up against every game that came out in 2023 from January to the end of December, or January to January. And a game released in September is number eight for the year of monthly active users in 2023 how wild. can that be i i don't get it am i missing something king is this am i, am I no it's me? okay listen the fact of the matter is we don't ever see them post videos of them playing said games they don't gotcha. ever post uh, uh, purchase sales. I mean, I go out and I purchase. I'd be doing live streams and I'm playing games, or whatever, PlayStation games or whatever. It's it's a good to have a narrative on Twitter that you feel that it's supported by media. 
when you have media behind you supporting your opinion, then you feel emboldened to say outlandish stuff like we sold 10 million without 10 million views. Like we don't see it. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't get a chance to see them enjoying said games because we can have they can have a game drop today, but they're still on Twitter talking about Starfield. This is exactly mm -hmm. what happens. Like, isn't Stella Blade out or something like that? And they're still talking about, oh, Starfield and y'all don't have any games. I would not even be on Twitter. I would be playing my game. It boils down to the lies and fabrication. Xbox titles show you right there. You know, you have Minecraft. That's an Xbox title. You know, you have Call of Duty. It's an Xbox title. You have Starfield. That's an Xbox title. Fortnite is the only universal that is free to play for so many people that say they don't like Fortnite. Well, it's number one on your list, and it's a That's multiplayer game, bro. Yeah, like there are a lot of people who genuinely hate Fortnite, and it's like, uh, like why? It's one of those I gotta hate what's popular sort of scenarios. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Michael Jordan. He he's balling <laughs> at the highest. Okay. <laughs> Like that's you, but Facts. we all love them, right? So it's it's that kind of scenario that I see here, and it doesn't surprise me. Um, I know them for who they was. I told people a long time ago, y'all liars, y'all don't play games. And it, for if they did, if they was as successful as they say that they was, their company will never be questioned to be purchased. Every so often, the Sony stories pop up with who's going to purchase Sony. Why would that ever be a thing? You don't ever hear nobody talk about who's going to purchase Microsoft. That's not a thing. Right? So obviously, you must know in the back of your mind, you ain't as successful as you think you are. That part. Facts. So Facts. PlayStation 6, King. It's not coming out. And, just, and, listen, and, just the message yeah, for those for waiting for it. Hashtag no PlayStation 6. You know how uh, we do it over coming there. out. I well, mean, I mean, what this shows you is when Sony and, you know, Hiroki Totoki is sitting there making decisions for their future, they have to look at this and be like, what, what does it even matter? The biggest game we put out last year, they didn't play. Un understand, this is just last year, just 2023. Mm -hmm. Starfield was the big game that we got on Xbox, the biggest game that came out, and we played it. We all played the hell out yeah, of that game. It sold well. Yeah, it sold phenomenally well, and it got played more so. Than but is that a product any of game, game on Pass? PlayStation exclusive? Is that so a again, product of Game Pass? Like you have to look at the ecosystems and how the ecosystems is being monetized. Is it a product of Game Pass? Now we know that. I mean, a lot of games sell. come to Game Pass, though. Right, but. What I'm saying is we do know that it sold a lot of pre-early sales, right? And that's yeah. how the numbers sold, right? And then, you yep. know, for a long time, they were saying that uh, PC was propping up the Xbox sales until that narrative no longer was supported when they got hell divers. And then we found out that it was a 21, 20 to one sale on um, PC yep. versus the PlayStation, where you can't right. say that same number for the Xbox. But um narratives is always going to switch and change i think the game pass solution allows people that either was on the fence or didn't understand exactly what was going on to partake and then we got to see those numbers rise and then you purchase because a lot of times after you play something and you have appreciation for something you just buy it all for the strength right you're like yo I'm, i need to have this type of thing sometimes you play it and you can like it but you're like nah i'm gonna let that pass if it comes back i catch it on sale the playstation doesn't give you that option and I think that option hurts them. Also, I believe that the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be the detriment of the console. And I think Hiroki is throwing it out there so it can fail, so he can say there's no PlayStation 6, so they can go the handheld route. And I think the handheld is going to be called uh, the Vita Plus 2 or something crazy like that, whatever that is. And that's going to be the last console. But it won't be no PlayStation 6. That's my opinion of it. Mm. Because mm -hmm. it, there's nothing on that list that can validate the fact of those matters. None of those remakes are there. None of those remasters are there. Yep. None of those original titles are there. There's nothing there that tells you that the PlayStation fan base even values your IPs. And if your IPs is over 300 million and you have to pay licensing fees to Disney and all this other stuff, what is that? What is it for? Just like C Money said, and why the money would they spend I do on this? advertising? Facts. It's not necessary. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, 
and I do want to because there's some super chats that I want to get to real quick, but I want to say one thing, then get the super chats, and then we can bounce back. But right. um, the other thing that this is showing us very easily, and we've already seen it, but let's say let's say that what happened recently never happened, and the conversation was going as it was. When you look at this, why the flying fuck would Phil and the team say let's put Starfield on PlayStation when nothing that comes to PlayStation is up here? What's the point? What would be the reason? Because they're still out here saying, oh, it's coming, guys. It's just when, you know what I'm saying? But it's coming. So why would they do it? Why? When they look, they can see the numbers. I can see a better scenario of uh, PlayStation games on Xbox. And I can see that I can see that list changing because I do believe that if PlayStation what? Okay. Um, I don't know what happened. Light I heard a lightning strike and like right after the alarm started going off. Yeah, because it's the windows. It's fine. (laughs) And you just tall, bro. (laughs) Yeah, he's supposed to be six seven. He's only twelve. Um Jesus. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. His 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 brother is taller than me. His brother is six five. Um oh wow. Yeah, God is good. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me why he's not playing basketball. I have no idea. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Money. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Some money. I, I, I hate that part. I believe that the PlayStation games will actually sell because I do believe the market is here. Vice versa? No. They don't buy games. Facts. That's the problem with that box. It's a casual box. You, a lot of people get a PlayStation 5 just to say, I got a gaming console. And they watch Netflix. They watch Hulu. They watch some other stuff. You know, they watch YouTube. And they never really get, and we all know that they like Cornhub. That's their thing. So um, the fact of the matter is, that machine is being utilized for things other than video games, where the Xbox ecosystem is utilizing the machine for everything, including games. So this is where the dynamic changes. That it's not the same. It's not the same beast. And you have to start looking at it as what it is. It's a mainstream casual box, and the list dictates so. And, you know, I think facts. when, when you facts. think about... Um, PlayStation being the casual box. I remember when it was the cheaper Blu-ray player out there. And so that's that was also on another way of like branching out and being yeah. known. Um that Xbox didn't have the opportunity to do cuz I don't know if you remember we still have it at HD. I, I got it up there. Yes, the HD I, I, movie I got player. all 300 movies. Upstairs. Yeah, I'm oh, sitting wow. on this physical media <laughs> that you can't even plug in anywhere. How can you? Let me ask oh, you a no, question. You, you, I How difficult it is it to let you plug it into your Series X? Oh, no, 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 no. I still have my 360. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. saying but how, why would they not just, it's it's still, it's just USB or whatever the hell connection. Is there a special connection? I don't remember. I, I think it's a special connection. I'll double check. Oh. Matter of fact, but no, the Kodak is not there. Remember, there was a special codec when you put it on your 360 and you had to do the update for it. And then I'm just saying, they already let us play 360 games on the Series X. Why can't we just fabricate what's needed? I think that was was a big fail, though. Like, that they kind of probably don't want. Yeah, I I agree. They're stepping away from King Kong. Yeah, King Kong came with it. Remember that? Yo, that King Kong movie was dope. It was dope. Yeah. Uh, That's the one with Jack Black. Oh, oh man, HD DVD. Wait, Jack Black was in a car, uh, in a Godzilla movie? No, Kong. Oh, Kong. Yeah, Kong movie. Yeah, he, he didn't see that movie. Oh my god, you gotta watch it with him, dude. There's so many movies. Yeah, like I know. This, that we gotta like, go how, back. Like, there's millions of movies that this kid had to see. We gotta, the, so many. The, um, Terminator, he watched yeah, not he, too long ago. Yeah, yeah he watched what? He the loves was the good. original Matrix too. Oh, Matrix yeah, is yeah. great. Yeah, yeah that that really that was my MJ movie. Dark Every in the time, building was good, fam. Every time I got a surround sound system, mm. I had to turn it up to the ten and uh, yep. put on the Matrix and the scene when he comes in the building and you know they check the guns and then he start running yep. up the side of the wall. So oh. shooting, that's my favorite part. It's favorite. Dude, it's, you know it's, it is a it's a phenomenal scene. Um, it's crazy because I remember those days where you get like. 
you know, a, a, a new system or something. And it's like, yo, I got to put on this movie. And it, I yeah. feel like I'm just I like, mean, those days have kind of like but those are dope days. Yeah. We lived gone. through so much. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Max. Like Eon Flux and stuff like that. Like, oh my God, you want me to go over there and start playing this? I'm watching this stuff. <laughs> it's not enough time in the day no more. For some yeah. reason, nope. you know, I'll we you. we have more accessibility to things, but we have less time, which is yep. yeah, it's weird. weird. It's weird. Yep. It's strange. That's why it's so weird. Like they're giving us so much, but you can only do so much. So it's like. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I don't I don't understand how people who are on Xbox have the energy to sit there and talk about what PlayStation has released when they get drip fed games that are not over here. And we have so many games that are just given to us twice a month, every month. About well, well, it's I, 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 against in certain scenarios. Is every week. Like you're so busy think, looking, yeah. you might not play anything at all, you know. Hey, that, well, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, the overabundance thing, I, I agree with you, man, man, the overabundance thing can turn into indecisiveness and you're sitting there and you're sampling too many things without actually having a full course meal. And this yeah. is where I had to tell my son, because my son, he'll hop around and he's getting hopping syndrome. Like, you know, they, what they, some, I think Kes Auntie calls it like the, the, the gourmet section, something, something he calls it sample size. And, and, um, I lock myself in. If I like a game, like I like Dead Island 2 right now, and I'm going to finish this game. Between my Fortnite matches, I'll stop playing Fortnite, and I'll be like, yo, let me get my uh, single-player game on right now. And I really like the game. I want to finish it from beginning to end. And I want to I want to do that because I think the game it deserves that time. Because if I yeah. continue to follow Game Pass, I'm going to be lost in the sauce. This is too many we games. Started, uh, we started it. When you find that freaking sword... It's like, all right, let's go. And then you can add like the electricity to it. I was like, I'm I'm ready to rock. Yeah, let's go. Wolverine yeah, claws. You get Wolverine claws in it. Yeah, yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's so much to that game. It's really good. I mean, it, again, you know, this is the thing. It's like what happens is if a game is not like 100 percent calling me, like, oh my god, I need to play it. There's plenty of fantastic games that I don't need to play and that's the problem because if it's not calling me i just i can't like i have to like i there's so many options it's like yo as much as i might be like all right i already started that when i should go back to play it it's like i only got so much time in the day do yep. i want to make that time being playing a game that i know it's good or going into this other one that i'm really really pumped to play or waiting for you know what i'm saying like I don't know. It's it's new it's problems difficult. with new all problems, these free games. Yes. You know what I'm saying? More games with problems. First world problems that we're suffering Thanks. through. And I'm sorry, PlayStation dudes. I know that y'all don't have these problems because uh, you have no... You don't understand these problems. And you got so Popeye's Biscuits you. for the rest of the year. And, oh. I, I, and I do oh. know that you're looking at our four stimmies that we send over to you. But um, I will explain one thing to you. If this list is any indication of your purchasing powers... If you do not purchase these stimmies, there will be nothing more coming your way. So go out and buy and try and play the game pass, sir. Do that. Nax. Bars. <laughs> they hate Bars. Me. <laughs> That's good. That's good. They, Someone's got to tell them. They got to hear from somewhere. They didn't even buy Spider-Man. And they everybody's right now, it sold 20 million. I don't even see 20 million of y'all playing. The, y'all didn't even turn on 20 million PlayStation 5. Thanks. Like, what's Thanks. happening? I don't know. It's, it's hard with these things. Like, I find streaming cool when you want to watch something and then you look it up and you're like, oh, it's there. I don't have to buy a Blu-ray or some shit like that. I just want to try something out. That's how I watch the Dark Knight trilogy, the Rainy yeah. trilogy. Those in the show, old boy, Kira, like a bunch of stuff that, you know, I probably wouldn't have saw if it wasn't just on Netflix. So, you did, know, and video did, games did you see thing. Akira? Like, sometimes I might want it. Huh? Did you see Akira yet? Yeah, I, I did see Akira. Oh, he Akira. loves that movie. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the kid is cultured. I love this kid. Yeah, this, it's weird. <laughs> he's <laughs> old, he's like an old soul. Yeah. Like, he likes old, crappy looking shit. Oh, hey, oh, come on. Here we classic. go. I know, Here we I go. See if I know. this tech. ever made. Uh, that's fine. Now nah, we got him the um the Kira the book set like okay. the whole collection. Oh, I did get the book set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Did, you, did you get a chance now. to see uh, a- Afro Samurai? Uh, I did see Afro Samurai, actually. I, I saw it on a pirating site, and it's actually oh, pretty damn oh, good. Oh, you can't put that shit out here? It's not uh, uh, Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Just don't say the word, bro. And the dub is actually cool because Samuel L. Jackson voices the protagonist. Yeah. In there. Number so, one under yeah, the sun, yeah. baby. I don't know. I don't know why. I've had a fun time. Like I like watching like comic book movies that aren't Marvel and DC. On, okay. I mean, like Invincible. Like, you know, like stuff like uh, Dread. Yeah. Um, and, no, that is uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Um, yeah, that was good too. Yeah. Kick ass. Like I, yeah. I don't know why. I find those so endearing. I don't know why. Oh boy. Yeah, old boy is good weird. too. I like this kid. He's man. From, um, from like comic book movies from the 2000s to 2010s that like aren't Marvel and DC. I don't know well, why. Well, Kick Ass was really good because they t- they did close to a one to one with the book, close to as much as they possibly could. You know, with Hit Girl, because Hit Girl was just a psychopath, and her father was like a fake Batman, and just raised a psychopath yeah. for kid. And I thought that that was done well because I brought I purchased the books, and I'm like, you know, these guys are doing something incredible. And this is when I was going to the comic book stores. And for them to make a movie out of it and, and the people that they had playing, I thought they were spot on. I thought the casting was good. I thought the movies was good. It was a fantastic route for me. And, and yo, yeah, the fact that, know, yo, I, we I, should I, do a movie night, I, bro. We need to do a movie <laughs> night. Yeah, we should. <laughs> I'm down. I don't know why. I, I've said it before on a podcast, but I find it really cool when they create a comic book series that's like multiple volumes and they just try to cram it into one movie. But yeah. it's a lot more interesting than when they just take a book and make it a movie. Because there's a lot. It's cool to see what they chose to keep in, what they chose to took out, what they added new, what they cut out. And it also adds a lot more valuable to the book. Like, right. I, this August, the staff program anniversary comic that comes out, I'm actually, I really want it. Because the movie yeah. is really good, and I want to read the book. So, and the key shit. But the movie, the movie in the, is very but in a cool way, there's like a lot of interesting changes. So you can't cram it like two hours. Yeah, they have to flush it so, out. Man, cool man, also make sure you keep your face to that mic because I feel like you're cutting in and out a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. I think I could. Well, no, I, I think I think Scott Pilgrim was done really well, and it 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 gave a different layer to to movies because when we got Ready Player One, I thought they they stole a lot from Scott Pilgrim. I love the book. Yes, I, like the movie. I love the book a lot. Yeah, go go because the book was absolutely way a uh, little bit more intricate. I, I don't think they could have showed a couple of things that the book had. Yeah, the music is down for the He movie. would not put that book down, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good, man. That's good. <laughs> and that was Madden Man and King Talk <laughs> anime and, and comic book I segment. I love it. I love it. That was awesome. <laughs> Listen, before you go, we got some super chats and they were talking with you, so you're gonna have to wait a second. We got no the homie Vic the motherfucking click. Thank you, brother, for being here. Thank you for that five dollar super chat. It says, Can't stop, won't stop. He said, <laughs> It will be fun. He said, Meek. Hold on, wait a minute. Said. Y'all thought I was finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The homie Hargi Sidney, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you for being here. Thank you for that final super chat. It says PlayStation doesn't have one, even one game in their top 10. They have Xbox games in their top 10. That is how Xbox is going to kill these mother flowers because it's nonstop. They're just living off of Xbox. And I can tell you right now. When you see that list, you see Fortnite on the top of every single one of those things, all right? So for all y'all haters who talk shit when we talk about uh, we're playing Fortnite, guess what? Y'all the minority. We live in life over here with all the other good people. You know I, don't what I'm pay, I don't pay those people. Yeah, yeah they don't mind, bro. Yeah, they'd be on some other shit. But the that this this little thing right here, this 100% leads to my reasoning that Microsoft will buy Epic. They want to own all the top games. They will. They already have Call of Duty. They already have Minecraft. There's nothing stopping them from buying Fortnite because they're going to keep it everywhere. There's nothing that could be done about it. I don't and think so. I honestly think... And then the other one is Grand Theft. They're going to buy Take-Two. Nah, that, that might be a bit too big of a fix, bro. No, it's going to happen. Mark my words. 
bookmark the shit. I it's don't happening. think I don't think Team Sweeney sells. I think Take Two is in a position to sell, but the fact that Take Two just purchased Gearbox, I don't think that happens. That's I the do. only I think reason. They made it easier for uh, them to not have to navigate getting Gearbox because a lot of people were wondering why didn't Microsoft buy Gearbox? Oh, because they're, they're still in litigation with the FTC. These monkeys. Exactly. It's but really now, weird. when they buy Take Two. It's a bundle deal, baby. It's already <laughs> happening. You don't got to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, they, the Xbox is, this is the their long-term goal. They want, they, listen, remember, they are more valuable than Windows. This is yeah. just a fact. You're looking at, when, when Satya looks at Xbox now, they're not looking at it like, oh, look at that toy that we used to fuck with. They're looking at that like, how do we make this the biggest thing ever and the only way to have the biggest thing ever is to own the biggest games and it's worth the money because guess what as much as you say Tim Sweeney might not sell I if would, you look at if you look at the the financials Fortnite it, don't make don't make that it much make, money it doesn't make the money that is necessary but the thing is I don't I don't want Microsoft to buy them I want because them because I don't want they can them make to every deal in the world, bro. I don't I don't want them to buy them for the simple fact that I don't want them to diminish the quality. I think Epic has Why something would they diminish it? That's uh, crazy talk. You know, I can tell you, you see. You uh, it's a special thing when you love something. And I think uh Tim Sweeney loves what he has in Fortnite, even though it's a plagiarized, bastardized version of PUBG. Yes, of course, yeah. we know it's true. He did what he did, but the IP itself is it has it takes so much care monthly, daily, hourly. I don't think Microsoft has that fortitude, determination, and greediness to sit there with one title and do that. I don't think so because if they did Minecraft, uh, um, no, because Mahjong, um, Mahjong, um, Mojang, uh really uh, operates as like an outside entity that is funded so do by the Microsoft. same exact thing with Fortnite. But I don't Why think Tim Sweeney sticks around. If you get that boatload of money, he gets the five-year package, he leaves on the fifth year, and then he's out of there, then what happens to the IP? I, I, think, I think Tim Sweeney right now does nothing but sit the fuck back and live his best life with just what he has now. If he wanted to leave because of money, he would have been wanted to leave because like he would have been left. He, well, I mean, he has all the money he could ever need in his life right this second. Adding a shit ton more, all that is, that's legacy money for him. He just knows when he dies, his bloodline lasts forever with the, that money. You when I hear them talking about not making as much money as I think that, you know, they do because I throw so much money at it and I assume well, that everybody it. else does too. They gross um, the money. What, what happens net. is it makes me like concern because i'm like i need my skins like where are my skins gonna go um and i don't know king if you feel the same way as i do but like sometimes i i see something and see money you did say it you're gonna regret not buying that dance and now i'm like shoot see money has a dance and i didn't freaking buy it but it's that feeling of like urgency Bomo. like when it's gone yep. yes am i gonna want it once it's gone and i didn't make the decision to pull the trigger and get it like that's how that is checking every day to see if they put something new in the store like that's the kind of grip that it has um on me personally well for me so, i i checked every day for a whole year till i got the skin that i wanted that chick the bunny rabbit girl is in there right now i yes. waited from easter Yo, from last year. identical yes. time as you just said it, said, yo, I got that thick head buddy. <laughs> yes. Yes, bro. She is the best. And they know I put it up there. I ain't playing. I don't care. I told my wife. I said, I got her. I was like, come here, babe. Look, look. And she's like, what? I'm like, she's like, she ain't that thick. I said, you out of your mind. She's lit. Like, this. no. So I don't I don't care. I, they do have that grass. I don't want that to go away. I, I it that. won't. It won't. It's going to be amplified. KT to go. What's good, fam? Uh, listen. When Microsoft owns them, which they will, they're gonna buy Epic and they're gonna buy Take Two. I just know it. Um, he's, he's fine. It's it's happening. Uh, th they're gonna flourish. They're gonna do more than they've ever done because now you got Big Daddy Microsoft, who's just gonna be like, listen, these are our crown jewels: your Minecraft, your Call of Duty, your Fortnite, your Grand Theft, 
your NBA 2K, whatever the hell. Okay. It's those are going to be the crown jewels that are just going to flourish and keep Microsoft as the biggest and most a uh, known place He's to so play hopeful, King. Ever, bro. it's happening I, I, yo, I, i'm i'm gonna tell Tell you i'm gonna tell you i'm I'm, I'm gonna tell you we have extremist xbox fans we have realistic xbox fans and we have uh the the ones that the flip-floppers you know we see them over here all right this week there's something went wrong right the mustard hot yep um Today you have straddled the uh, pause, the 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 extremist nope. van, nope. and and I, the, I, I, listen, I hold up here. I'm watching, but yes. see yes. what the thing is. <laughs> Epic Store <laughs> will be a part of that. They're working on their store now. They have BattleNet now. They have all these things now that they're trying to work and put these layers in and put them in conjunction. Um, none of that stuff is easy, and there will be a form of disruption. Not on my Fortnite, please. I'm selfishly telling you, hell no. Like I'm selfishly. Listen, then you got to get to the Unreal Duty. Engine, right? See, this is the this is the thing. Want. Coalition, to think about I it. Know, Yo, my, my shit got levels. levels. Shout out to Doc Dark. My yeah. shit got levels, dog. Let's. I I just I'm I'm throwing out the Fortnite fruit for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yo, they gotta take Fortnite. But let's be clear. They have the true Unreal Masters. Over at Xbox Coalition, and that is Coalition. And when they own Unreal, and Coalition gets to dive into that shit, into the crevices, when it gets to spread those cheeks. Oh my god! And enter the engine the way that they like to enter their engines. Okay, I'm telling you. I am echoing. That's what I'm saying. God damn it. Let me do this to mass. But yeah, it's going to happen. Let me try to fix this. Hold on. So this is what I would say. King was here for my birthday. Thank you. And you brought up Fortnite crew. Now, you know what we did. That's we got it right away. <laughs> we signed up yeah. right away. And big boy Mike did too. You got him too. You got him on that Fortnite yeah, crew. Yeah, yeah. We all signed up. As a crew. It up. Yes. We signed up for the crew. You know what I'm saying? And, and, yes. And it's probably one of your best decisions that you've done. Oh, yeah. We, love oh, we got Aries. Aries looks dope. Yep. Like, this is right the- now, I got legacy characters that get skins that, uh, mm-hmm. like, like every month that you forget yep. that you had that character. But there, if you keep the this the crew long enough, they get to the epic skins. And I just yes. got like an epic skin for the cat character, which was nuts. That's dope. Sweet. Now, question. Do you get the cars? Wait, hold on. Do yes. you get the cars, King? No, I haven't purchased cars yet because I haven't Come done on. that part. No, right? you and, don't need to. It's in the real game, bro. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, oh, I know. King. But when you that play, car you know, turns into you a get, Lamborghini, yeah, when you get your car and then you jump into it and then it turns into that, yeah. turns I know I, I was saving my money for my bunny. I knew bro. Easter was coming and I was gonna that be bunny really don't upset. Don't want to fuck with you no more because you're driving a basic ass whip. <laughs> she wants the motherfucker who pulls up in the Lambo, son. She got to do her squats, B. She likes to be in the street, son. My bunny <laughs> is for the streets, son. <laughs> and and that, that hit it to the beat, hit it to the beat. That <laughs> dance <laughs> with my bunny. Wait, 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 we gotta do it. Hold on. Hold on. No. Hit it to the beat. 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 It's my you're, name. You're a gamer. I'm gonna send you the the Lambo. It's my name. Lambo. It's, it's, I'm gonna send you the Lambo David. today. It's King David OTW. If Wait, they have, is it in if, the, is it in the store? Room. You okay? First of all, y'all can't send me anything unless we play. So that part gotta happen first. Okay. All right. All right. right. We be around, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm around all day. I don't even hear that. Like, <laughs> Yo, bro, like right I mean, now, I, right I work now, from I home running like ninety percent of the time, so I can make some shit happen. Well, well, you you, you hear me. <laughs> All right, so I'm talking to you. You're like, what you doing? Ah, I'm not it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yo, yeah. That feeling when you get into that busted ass looking car and it turns into a Lambo, yo. It's like, yo, let's ride. I got I got friends 
that will jump in a car, turn in, and be like, hey, man, drive that. Yes. Yeah. 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 All the time. I'll just see a car. I'll jump out like, nah, I can't see that ugly shit. Hop in, change it, get back in my car and drive away. <laughs> Merry Christmas, somebody. Yeah. Upgrade you. And then you, know you run into the car. You're like, ooh, somebody left this Mustang yeah. in the street. Yeah. This yeah. must be a bait car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 I Beyonce that bitch all the time. Shout yo, out, yo, look shout how great out to, you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to see money sitting on the mic on the mountain with a sniper. Go ahead, touch the whip. Go ahead, touch the whip. <laughs> oh my god, tires. doodle blow out the tires. <laughs> Oh, yo, yo we be setting those cars on fire. Uh, That's so satisfying. It's great. It's great. Yeah. All right, all right. Let me get. Let's get the last ones who were oh talking. Oh my gosh, Adele, yes, the homie. Says, uh, uh, first, first of all, thank you for being a member, bro, for two you. months. I appreciate you, homie. That's for Says sure. going That's all digital on Xbox this year. Facts. Still <laughs> physical on PlayStation Five because that's gonna be a collector's item. Facts. Hashtag <laughs> no PS Six. Hashtag pathetic. Poor begging ponies got no games. Let's Talk go. that shit. Listen, Facts. keep your boxes for your PlayStations because they are going to be collector's items, especially if you bought the Spider-Man one. It's Yo, like, thanks. keep the box. Yo, facts, 100%. And then yeah. you got the homie Hargeet Shani. Hargeet, back to back. thank I appreciate you. you brother. Thank, thank you for so which I says, you want to understand why Xbox console sales don't matter for top 10s? Xbox has two on PC, two on PlayStation, three on Xbox, and one on Switch. They have live games. They Facts. do. They just bank from everybody, and that's yeah. the beauty. And then the homie MJ Dark, Thank who you. fucked up his message completely that he had to add addendums. Did he? That I'm supposed to, f like, now... Fine, hold on. I, I got Fine. you. Let me see. Well, I, think I, can, I think I can clarify. Go ahead. Shout out to the new head of Xbox marketing, King David. Yes! LOL. And then hello to C Money Doodle and Man Man. Hi. Too many games on Game Pass. Not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that April Fools was really funny. I had to turn my phone off. I woke up to seventy eight messages. It was nuts. Oh my god! Yo, it was so it was so good. I even fooled my wife. She came in and she was like, "You did show me some paperwork. That was the paperwork you showed me, babe. Oh my god, this is incredible. We're oh moving to Seattle. Oh, that's so cool. That's so I was cute. like, you didn't finish the video, did you? I said, finish watching the video. She oh finished. She said, that's, Yo, heartbreaking. A... <laughs> that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. All right, uh, King, you gotta go. What, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got to burn. She, she just saw her. She just called me right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. thank well, you so much you, for homie. rocking out with appreciate us appreciate you man i love you guys and i got a chance to, uh, madman i had a plan yeah. for you at uh at uh get, uh whatchamacallit um pax uh hopefully we can figure out a, another show like probably like a comic con or something i got something i really want to do okay. i think it'll go over really well um and I, and I want right. to play up the whole mystery of Madman until you get to the big reveal, whatever the big reveal that day is, whatever that is. But um, I, I want to do this because I think it'll go over super well, be super viral, and you know, just play into the fact that you don't show your face, and it's it's, it's a dope thing. But Absolutely. I want to say that you are an extraordinary kid. Uh, oh, I appreciate you, know. you in this space, and I got a chance to talk to you a lot more on this show than before. And uh, your your taste in movies and comic books is intriguing, sir. And keep it up. I feel like I you should it. have a King Thanks, and sir. Mad Man episode. <laughs> oh, I would love that. that. Would that'd be that'd dope. Something else. That'd be dope. Well, I'm gonna be doing um comic book talk with the King, and I will have you know guests on and stuff like that, and we can you go know? over comic books and because I have sixty two thousand or sixty four thousand comic the books. Hell? Jesus. Yeah. Nice. So. And we can just uh, dig the crates and just go into them. And I don't put mine on slabs because I don't believe in, I believe in reading, taking them out, checking them out. So, uh, yeah, uh, you're, you're somebody that's intriguing because I want to uh, get to the younger demographic, the younger audience that may not pick up comic books right now and feel that the digital uh, Kendall Fire versions is the best superior versions. And I don't think so. So I have a younger minds like see money. <laughs> Why? Why did I gotta catch a string? Listen, listen, I'm just saying. Why? I'm just saying. Say. <laughs> what See, you gotta get low, duck. Oh. I, don't, I don't even have. 
Like, I don't even know I'm what to get say. I'm going to get one of like, a little bit. Know... A little bit after the stream. I'm going to toss a chancleta <laughs> right Look, across. I don't even know what to say, okay? I That took me by surprise <laughs> right now. That's, um, it's not nice. The wise one, <laughs> the wise one has entered the chat. Yes, Hardy. Hey, hey, you can take over for when I go. Hey. Um, yes. Uh, AI, AI generated. They have, they have them in yes. New York. AI. We will bring them. AI generated. We will, we will go. Up. We can meet over there. We'll bring Mad Men and we'll do the, the whole you, thing. You, Just let me know. Commit me to? New York. They have the, the comic uh -huh. convention. Comic Con. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. When yeah. is and they're coming in, I think it's, it's, it's in it's May. October. Or... No, no. Comic Con. Oh, no, you're talking about the Brooklyn thing? No. I, that, remember, no, we used that to go the... during the spring. No, they that's in it? October. Yeah, that's in October. Oh. Yeah, Comic Con is in October. They're yeah, in we'll bring him, bro. Yeah. And it's, it's yeah, I definitely, I'm down for that. It, yeah, because um, Comic, Comic Con is a dope shot. thing. See and you you get a chance to see all the new statues from Sideshow, from um, XM Studio, from um, PCS. Like that uh, Raphael that I got back there, that's a PCS statue. Y'all can see him. Yo, right Raphael's there. my fucking favorite, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's why I got him first. So I got Donatello coming in. Leonardo didn't get released yet. And Michael, Angela, they haven't even uh, started the render on him yet. So, um, But they're one that's stars. Those, those are huge statues. Those are the largest statues that I got. I usually do one fourth statue. So. Well, those when those dope. tickets go up and you know about it, and if you're let going, you let us know and we'll get the tickets right away. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. That'd be dope. Then we could just, we get the, we hit the floor together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. there we'll be go. out there, you know, uh, reviewing and, uh, you know, getting interviews and stuff. Hard Geek, my guy, my first interview on my channel. <laughs> And, and he was a little known fact. He was running around wearing my shirt for the whole night. Didn't even know it. Yes. Um, but he could tell nice. y'all that story. Uh, peace and <laughs> blessings, guys. I catch y'all later. And again, hey, you, thank you so peace, much. Uh, appreciate it. Yes. Catch y'all later. Thank you, fam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. The, the wise one. The wise Hi, one hey. has entered. <laughs> yes. I know. It's been so long since you've been it's here. Been, it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so um oh god damn it what you do oh no, i did read i did read uh mj uh his i did read okay it. I, walking, I read walking was yeah. here yeah, yeah, walking of, was yes here. i just okay i was like oh shit did i forget oh um, right. that was so, that so was let's nice bring this you. back because i know hargi has has words to say <laughs> tell us hargi tell okay. us so I know oh, we read your chats, but since you're here, you can you can talk a little more <laughs> about uh, why is this so embarrassing? What, what, do, what, do, what do you see when you look at this chart? Like, what's it's missing? Any PlayStation game? Anything? Oh. Um, they're big exclusives. I guess they don't count. This is for 2023. Three. Yeah, so the only game that would really have is Spider-Man that you would think maybe would would chart, uh, but uh, it didn't. Well, hold on, it didn't. fucking for spoken, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, bad, FF16 also came out last year, right? FF16, yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, those did nothing. Um, and Spider-Man, uh, it didn't even hit 10 million last year, right? So it finally did that somewhere in February, I think, right? Well, that just tells you what what their games do. Right. So uh, it's been going down once they hit the $70 mark. That, that's just the way it is. Uh, the revenue is, is okay-ish uh, when they sell these games, but their unit sales have gone down. And the most played games, obviously, are all third party. And I just love the fact that two of them are Xbox games. <laughs> it's it's wild, so funny. Bro. It's wild. Right? You can't make this up. But I, I wonder how many ponies have looked at this chart and they make won't. sense of it. They won't. Um, you know, well, the, the funny thing is you look at Switch and it's chock full of Nintendo games. And that's what you would expect. Their games sell, <laughs> right? Those are like some bro. brand new games and they sell. Yep. <laughs> right? Mario Wonder, brand new. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, brand new. Those Dude, games sell. So, Hogwarts so Legacy. This is the question, though. This is the question, though, Targi, to be fair. Yeah. Because we're giving them a lot of credit right now. Mm -hmm. But if Call of Duty was on Switch... Oh, what is what still in there? 100%. It would probably on Smash out, right? Yeah. You think it'll make it on the list? 
if Roblox, Roblox was on Switch, Roblox would yeah, that would be pretty big. If all these games that are on the these other three lists, because they mm-hmm. do share a outside of P- PC has a lot of different ones, but they do share a, a lot of similar games. Well, right? Fortnite all across the Fortnite board, across right? The board, but Grand Theft, Call of Duty, you know the EA um, football game, uh, Roblox, Minecraft is well, Minecraft is on, number is five. On Switch. That's why it's over there. But like, oh, even Fall Guys, Fall Guys right? It's number over there. seven. So, Hard like, how see. much? How much does that? Um, how much does that play into it that they don't have a lot of these games? That's why you see their games, which they will. So with Switch Two are guaranteed. Call of Duty's coming. Yep. They, they signed a ten-year deal, right? So, Call of Duty's coming Thanks. to Switch, and that'll be in that top three. It's gonna be there. So we'll see what they do, <laughs> right? Because like, it is what it yep. is, right? They, they their games are really good, uh, but Call of Duty's huge. It just is. Um, yeah, it's a so piece. Call so I would of expect Duty, it to be in if there. they had Roblox in there, do you think that will make it to the chart as well? Yeah, I, I think all of them yeah, would. I think I it think, does. I think all the games that are not on it right now, if you bring them over, I think they yeah. will. I think they'll blow right up. But so, shout out to so Animal what? Crossing. Yes. Low yeah. key. Being still on that list, like you know, you kind of 2023 think Animal Crossing is that's old. When did it release? 2019, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Still charting in the most active users on Switch. I guess yep. you know, Boom is not alone. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Shout out I mean, to that Taylor game Park, man. sold a lot, it's, right? Like it did. 40, it did. 50 million, it sold, something ridiculous. They were not prepared. They fucked up that game because they, they were not prepared for its success. Yeah. So, yeah, that's um, upsetting. But real quick, shout out to Taylor Parker. It says huge Taylor. fan of Hargeet. Oh, You're oh. awesome. God bless you, bro. Look at yes, that. he is. He's you amazing. Got fans, bro. You got fans. Um, Beautiful heart as well. But yes. <laughs> Your interview was dope, dude. We still remember it. It's wild. Yeah, it was. It was really, really good. Um, um yeah, I mean, Toby, Roblox is another massive game. Toby's and block. you know, you were saying they might go after um Fortnite. That one might be yeah. more challenging regu- regulations wise, but or regulatory bodies wise. Roblox, on the why, other why hand, I could, I could see. Because it's Roblox the top game. Be good for them to own it's too. the top yeah, game. Yeah, but what? But, but why would it? Why would you it... saw what they did when it was just a whole bunch of bigger games, right? And they, they were they were terrified of Call of Duty being something that Xbox owns. The top game, I think they're gonna they're gonna. Yeah, but once that big once time. they own Call of Duty and show that nothing yeah, it, is it's wrong. Just, it, you have to look at Microsoft as Microsoft. That's the problem. If, if it was any other company, contract, that's the problem. And say we're just going to keep it everywhere forever. You know what I'm and, saying? Like, and, and and to the point, they would never take it off of anything. Why would they? It would kill no, the it's, game, right? Stupid. They'd say, where, "Where else can we put it? Can we throw it on the moon?" They would do it. They don't care. Right? They'll put it yeah. everywhere. <laughs> right? That's what they, they have a do. system up there. But but the regulators, to be fair, they have to look at it as how could Microsoft leverage this against the competition, right? And what could they do to, to kill the market? And so they're going to look at it from that lens, and there's fairness to that. And unfortunately, but I think they'll look we at know, it, it is Microsoft, and they'll get approved, so, just like Call of Duty, so, baby. So I, how I don't, do you think Nintendo will feel though? Like it, it, you know, obviously, Call of Duty is is coming in. Um, if I don't know if Roblox any signs, I know it just made it to to PlayStation, which was the greatest thing that happened last year to them. Um, yep. But like, how do you think? Is Nintendo's very particular? How how will they feel yeah. their games kind of getting knocked off their list and replaced by other games? I think Great Nintendo's the one that doesn't 30%. care. Yep. Right, Nintendo's the one that doesn't care. But look at look at their list. Their games chart. Their games yep. chart, and, and this is the top the console. Other games beat them. All, that doesn't mean anything. All it means is they still going to sell the same amount of these. Yeah, and then they, it's just going to yeah, be everybody else. selling even more. <laughs> yep, it's going to yeah. be everybody and, else. And, it's crazy. and they have a good relationship with Microsoft anyway, so their games will come. Mike Microsoft will definitely put these kind of games everywhere anyway. So I don't think they're going to worry. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think <laughs> Range Evil has a very <laughs> valid sliding question. through. <laughs> Rangy for sliding through with this question. Question: Will Nintendo change Diddy Kong's name? Facts. Oh. I think he will. Mm. <laughs> Diddy Kong, you can't have Diddy. Ooh, you can't. You can't. That doesn't. That doesn't sit oh, well anymore. Oh. 
Diddy Kong oh won't make God. it to any other games or <laughs> movies. Done. They'll never mention his name. They'll just be like the little Kong. The little Kong. 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 No Diddy. Oh, oh, I know what they call him. They'll just say Ray Ray. They'll just call him Ray Ray. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Did Ray Ray wasn't here before. Ray Ray. I don't know. You still in here? I don't know. You caught a stray. <laughs> Oh my God! Listen, I called one earlier from Dudo. I got no. I I know that was still in your mind. You were like, "Yo, who am I gonna pass this on to?" (laughs) I gotta do something. Um, Zoro says says, no Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. Uh, Zoro said Nintendo sided with Microsoft. Yeah, I don't think Nintendo is gonna be a problem. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so at all. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it's just gonna be more um, that they get. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be more that they get. Oh, I think Sega's but, next. I hope Sega's next. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. They got a scoop up Sega, bro. So they got what? Sorry. Oh, they got a scoop up like Sega. Like Xbox yeah. got to buy them, bro. Let's get it going. They're they're starting to have financial trouble, right? They're selling studios. Yeah. Like, let's go. You know, that's what let's Xbox go. likes. Xbox likes it. I, they want to <laughs> see that financial struggle. They're starting to have financial <laughs> troubles financial magically. Troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need an Are infusion they? of cash? <laughs> oh my god, let's go! I'm telling you, that's no, why I feel hey, like that's why it would just Fortnite. it will bring them back in a big way, even just Sonic out there. <laughs> like, they need it, they need it to go ahead and say, All right, Nintendo, look at who we got. But I want to bring back like the console war mascot battles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want Sonic to be out there and be like, Mario ain't shit, and then. <laughs> You got Mario well, but they're not going to do that to, to Nintendo, right? But no, no, can no, you tell me what the mascot is on the PlayStation? Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah. damn. Oh, oh, he said it. Damn, PlayStation got he no said mascot. It. PlayStation they got just no caught a stray from our game. They had one. Its name was Crash. <laughs> oh, my God. He crashed into Xbox. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Wubu Kid has the answer. It's muscular Adam. That's the... <laughs> That's their uh that's their uh <laughs> their <mascot. say> snake. <laughs> <laughs> the muscular Abby. Oh that's my goodness. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh shit. shit, IGN is Sony's mascot. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, Damn. Oh, Damn. Damn, fam. Damn. Yeah, nah, that's that's wild. That's wild. But yeah, man, you look at that list and it's just kind of crazy that this you know, you see them running around treating these games in conversation as if they're the greatest things ever that so many people buy them so (laughs) many people play them but all this does is show that they're one and done's people play for a little bit and just drop them and they move on back to twitter where they prefer to play their games it's just what it is it's wild um all right, so there are other topics that I have to get to because I put it on the thumbnail. So we're going to do it real quick. Let's see. Shit, what was my thumbnail? I don't even remember. Um, so, booty. Booty. Oh. Well, not booty. Peaches? No, booty. <laughs> <laughs> Damn um, Okay, so uh, this here. Well, I guess no. Wait, it wasn't it Jess? I think it was Jess. Did I not? Click it correctly. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Uh, share. Okay, so let me take it off and put it back on. Ooh. There we go. Um, so Jess Gordon heard that Matt Booty acknowledged that the multiple platform strategy has stressed, but not damaged, the brand. Uh, Jez is paraphrasing because it's not a direct source, but something he's heard secondhand. So during that all hands on meeting that he talked about um, the other day that we talked about a little bit. Um, he heard about it that Matt Booty, you know, got on the call. He was one of the people on the calls and he was, you know, he was acknowledging that he saw that it stressed the brand, but it didn't damage it. That's what, that's what he's saying. Um, now, do you think when you look at this and you hear him acknowledging, right? So which means they're seeing the 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 talk, right? The scuttlebutt out in these streets. And he sees that it did stress it. He knows it, he says it did damage it, right? But it, it does stress it, right? People have a certain type of feel about it. And then you couple that with the fact that it's not performing 
as they would hope right now with what's been released, right? So, so far, two games have been released, right? Hi-Fi Rush, Pentiment. Yes. Neither of which have done anything substantial or anything that would have a, you know, a big, you know, hoopla around it, right? I mean, do you, do you think that altogether this just shows that this is going to be something that they're just, they did now, and then they're just, you know, dropping it like a hot bag of garbage? Dropping what? The last two games? Drop, no, having... dropping the idea of, of doing this further. I still believe that they did this for a very specific reason other than just let's test this out and see how it works. I do think that, you know, maybe it had something to do with, with the FTC to kind of show that, look, we're putting games out here. Um, I, I just feel like that was, those were the games that decided on and that was somehow is still kind of connected in still testing out. Well, come on, if they were to sell ridiculously, of course they're going to go ahead and continue with that because I mean, why not? Right. He said there are guidelines to what they consider a game that can go on other platforms, you know? And so I think that was the door that was open. The fact that it's not doing well, I mean, obviously it stressed the brand. They had to come out here and kind of like spoon feed the, the situation. And when the games did drop, it was kind of like all over again, the meltdowns and, and, and everything as if it wasn't explained or as if this was not something we talked about. Right. Yep, yep, um, yep. So it's like, yes, it stressed everything throughout. It didn't damage the brand. Of course not. And I think that they have so much good coming for the rest of this year and, and moving forward, I can't wait to hear about the tech and everything else that I think that is just going to, to flourish from here. And I do think that this is a, a step in, let's see what the other two games do. And, and then from there, I feel like it's more of a, a clear judgment as to what they're going to do moving forward. Yeah. What do you think, my man? I think that's all good. Like, honestly, it all like, like, I think it's just, like, so, like, crazy and all this shit, you know, like, it's just, I feel like that everything you guys said makes, like, a fuck ton of sense. There's not really much I can, like, add because you basically said everything that I was thinking about this, you know? So, okay. So, you don't think, do you feel like it damaged the brand in any way for Xbox to go ahead and put these games in other platforms? I don't think that they can like that they sorry, say it one more again, one more time. Do you a think personally, like they're saying it didn't damage the brand, it just stressed it. Do you think it exactly. damaged it in any way? Um to to have put these games in other platforms? Exactly. Yeah, basically. Like I don't think that it doesn't really matter. Like it's not destroying a brand by putting it everywhere. If that's what you're trying to say. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I guess the the fear, the I mean, obviously, putting all games would be something crazy. Yeah, right? it that would. would be, but they already ripped the band aid with these. But these little ones, I think they were just a test, and and not even a. I wouldn't even say a test. Like I said, my my thing was it was an internal test for them to see whether they were going to invest further with some of these things. And sadly, um, the tests are not looking good. You know what I'm saying? Like I I don't think this is uh that Pentiment is. You know, a sequel is looking like it's going to line up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and same thing with Hi-Fi Rush. Sadly, you know, it, it's it barely did anything on Xbox. And now going to PlayStation, clearly it's not doing much more. So it's kind of like I, I see it as them not moving forward with it. I mean, do you guys I mean, do you more? Think what do you think, Kargi? So, yeah, this is the big question. Stressed versus damaged. Can you say like people like Tim Dog, a friend of mine, that, that's kind of totally divorced himself from the whole Xbox thing? And it's like, well, is that stress or is that damage? I don't know. Like, there's plenty of people who really did get a annoyed by this. Um, I, I think it's a good thing to test. And th this is why I'm not on that, like, ridiculous level is because I like companies challenging themselves. Right. So it's a good idea to test something and then say that failed. OK, cool. 
we're going to go a different direction. He gave us two paths, right? The one path was get more money from your current customer. The other one was to go get other customers, right? He chose, let's try the other customers thing first and see how that does. It may not work. We haven't seen Grounded. We haven't seen Sea of Thieves. Um, we'll see how that does. I I would expect it's probably going to look the same, uh, especially on the PlayStation side. I don't know if like, I think Grounded is coming to, to Switch, right? Yes, um, I believe and so. How that yeah, works out. Grounded and Pentiman, yeah. yes. So <laughs> I don't even know why they bothered with that one, but okay. Um, but Grounded may work well on a Switch. I don't know. We'll see, right? Um, so once those come out, we see the numbers. If the numbers just say, look, you're better off just doing the other option. If you want to keep this live, put out content and charge for the content, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't see it. It depends on what the content is. I don't think it's that bad if the content is like Fortnite. I just want to have a different skin for my character. Okay, fair enough. For those who want to spend the money, they'll spend the money. I mean, it, it's working like gangbusters for freaking Fortnite, isn't it? So why not just do that? That's a fine option as long as it doesn't take away from the game itself. Fine, right? We'll see. I, like this, if that's the course correction, and they say, you know, we tried it, we we went up to the board and said, here are the, here are the results. We we tried what you wanted. It failed miserably. Uh, our games need to have a different way to monetize. The ones that are very large, we're putting those everywhere. They're well known properties like Call of Duty. We're just going to put that every, keep it everywhere, and hopefully those do well everywhere, right? And that's fine. Um, but these newer ones may not, they may not resonate and maybe you need something. I, I think, you know, see if these exists because game pass, let it exist. <laughs> if game pass wasn't there, I think see if these would have died a long time ago. I think yeah. it was just because it was there. People gave it a shot and they're like, Oh, this is actually not bad. This is kind of fun. And then they added more content, made it more whole. Right. And added those nice DLCs to it. Uh, I, it, it might I just agree be with that. It kept go, it relevant. Right? Being in yeah. there kept it relevant because if it was something, again, we remember how much work they put into it after it was released, exactly. right? And so I, I think it would have been a, yeah, I'm not buying that crap from what I'm hearing about it. And I don't know that they would have continued to necessarily work on it the way that they did if it wasn't in, in Game Pass. Game Pass, yeah. They weren't expecting a lot for it before it came out. So... Um, so see if these was a surprise to, uh, to Xbox as well, uh, a pleasant one, right. That it actually did pretty well. Um, so I don't know. I, to me, that's kind of where this is. If, if in the long run, that's the lesson learned. And it just sort of says, eh, we tried, it didn't work. We're going to continue our normal path. And what we're really going to do is go down this new path of merging PC to Xbox. And that really is the, the future path where, our customer base suddenly increases, you know, like you know, like three or four fold, right? And that's the better path for us. Fair enough. That is a good path, right? And suddenly you don't have to worry about the uh, the the negative aspect of this specific test. If, however, it, it it's like, oh, we tried this test. Now we want to try like ten more. Then it might go beyond stress. <laughs> yes, yes more absolutely. And well, and that's and then that the may thing, be right? a big problem. But I think that's why he chose those words. Right. Yeah. So if you think about what he was saying, right, if, if this is a all hands on meeting, right, that everybody's there and he's going on there saying what we did has stressed, stressed the brand, but not quite damaged it, Are which is him to get saying, damage. exactly what yeah. he's saying is going any further than this will damage the brand can lead to the damaging of the brand especially damaging exactly. when you go through the list of games that all these fake insiders and all these people were sitting yep. around talking about you're talking yeah. about hellblade 2 uh halo fucking blade you, yeah like halo goes there uh, you know after yeah. xbox is dead like that should just never yes. happen Yep, that should just exactly. never happen. <laughs> so, Hargi, on. I do have a question based on something that you had said. You said um, you don't know what was the point for what for Pentiment. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> for Look, I, I'm probably I, one of the, Let have, me have see if it? this will change your mind, yeah, I though. Played, I played yeah. a little because bit. Because did you know yeah. though? Because this might kind of change how you feel. Did you know that it's? 120 frames per second on on the on the PlayStation. I, I don't know if you if that makes it more enticing. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, no, well, I, look, no, no, I liked no. the game. I thought it was fantastic, but I like those kind of games. And this was a quirky ass game, right? I don't expect a lot of people to play in like this game. I just don't. I, it's just not for everyone. Uh, but I like those kind of games. I finished it, um, but I just don't think it was going to sell. I just don't. <laughs> I, it does not surprise me that it didn't do well. Um, I think Grounded could. I think it, it possibly has a good audience, especially on the Switch. I think it could potentially yeah. go somewhere there. It's very kid friendly. Um, Sea of Thieves is also kind of like that. So unfortunately, that's not coming to this Switch. So I no. don't know if it, you know, if the, the PlayStation side will buy it or not. I don't know. We'll see. It's supposedly high on the pre order list. So we'll we yes we talked about this. I wonder if it's still at number one. It was like number one, number oh, three, yeah, and number what? five. I wonder where we are. Nobody, nobody answers us. Come on, somebody tell us, guys. If you Ooh. have um access to it, let us. Know I don't know how chat, to find please. it. That's the only reason I'm saying it because I um, I don't know how to do it, and I can't just turn on my PlayStation because it'll probably explode, explode. <laughs> or just <laughs> blow like a big ass dust wind through the room because who knows the last time i turned that shit on uh but if you are the money knocked out by his playstation <laughs> jesus uh <laughs> let me get the homie gamer by choice Do here the man uppy thank thing. you the uppy the uppy the, the are we talking about Ray Ray again? No. <laughs> damn oh my gosh you guys we were felt playing that, with know. the giant uno cards <laughs> And we're like, is this what it feels like for like, Ray Ray yeah. to play with? Yeah, like we finally understand. Uno cards. The cards are like, what can you They're like this solid. big, you guys. They sell giant Uno We're trying cards. to summon him. Normally, every time we uh, mention his right? name, he, he always pops, pops in. Up somewhere. He was already here, well, though, so maybe he already Looking at the pre-orders, I'm on their website. Uh, it's number three for the $60 edition. It's number, what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, ninth. And eleventh for the uh, normal and the deluxe edition. So what's the number one? And grounded, by the way, is number eight. Oh, nice. What's the what's the number one pre-order game? Uh, Stellar Yams. Oh, Stellar Yams finally <laughs> caught up. Stellar Yams. They, got, they saw the demo and they were like, "Yo, we can beat off to this so much." Wait, oh, wait, yeah. what? Stellar Yams. So Stellar Blade uh, Deluxe is number one, and it's also number oh, four. Oh, no, no. Stellar no, Blade yeah, like Normal a is number four. Game. I swear to God. Nah, yeah. You're talking about Stellar Blade, right? Stellar Blade, Wait till yeah. Mad Men sees that video. No. Oh, I know should we, should we turn it on? It's like PlayStation's <laughs> being in a card for sure. Well, oh. Mad Men, I, I don't know what you think. Go ahead, Hargy. Are you going to put on the video? <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. This is Stellar Blade. Bad I can't man. see shit that you're showing me, by the way. Oh, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. what it looks like, and I've seen Stellar Blade. Bad man's in spirit over there. <laughs> but yeah. That's, that's that you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, wait. Cool there, it, it, there's well, more, Mad Man. <laughs> there's, there's more. more. That one, I think we can all agree, is a pretty dope outfit. That's I don't a dope think outfit. anybody doing what she's doing would think that that was a dope outfit to wear while battling. No, or whatever the because thing. I mean, I you think know, it, kind of is. it probably fits the mood, you know. I mean, at least uh, Bayonetta uses the fact that her hair is her outfit, you yes. know what I'm saying? Until they got cut off, but I guess, but there you go. <laughs> what <laughs> you heard the natural reaction That's right there, pre order bonus. <laughs> oh my god. My baby, no. All right, who are they trying to please? The God of War community, so they'll finally like it. Jeez, oh my God, I've been trying to reorder the game. That's uh, yeah. I like, mean, well, they got Batman, guys. This is what they're looking for. Guys. <laughs> this Yo, the way just sits there. Oh it's my wild. god! Is it in the physical version or the digital one only? That's hilarious. Um, That's hilarious. <laughs> the digital hat um, is at number Parky, one. I don't know if you heard, but Batman wants to pre-order Stellar Blade now. Of course he does. Yes, yeah. There's definitely a lot of reasons. <laughs> I'm an adult. I don't like to buy this game, sir. <laughs> Pre-order those assets. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Let me get a uh, gear by choice here, real quick. Says, uh, "Thank you, brother, for being here. Thank you for the final Says, "I think the tests 
made vocal Xbox supporters turn to vocal antagonists, and that damaged the brand. But Xbox will be okay, and hopefully we go forward. Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely is going to be okay. And those people who turned, they just, I mean, I guess they don't listen. What's his name? Um, Lawbreakers? Cliff Blazinski. You got you to gotta listen to the dude, right? He spends his whole career on Xbox, then turns around and uh, puts his first independent game on PlayStation exclusively, and his entire life changed because his studio closed, games all shut down. Sucks, man. You can't turn against the people. Not who one hot dog you. landed in her mouth. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You still thinking about that shit? We can we can act that shit out in real life later. Don't worry about it. We don't need you to think about the video, baby. We can make that video. You know what I'm saying? Why? However you want it. <laughs> nice shift, guys. Nice shift. God damn. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen. Let's. We're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> Jesse B said, "Lord help." Lord help. Oh, this is it's still early though, so it's like not really like shit. All right, let's hit. I want to hit a really quick uh, because we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up. But where's the other Duke? What's up, baby? Uh, you don't even know, guys. Um, all right, and then uh, you saw the thing IGN says PlayStation PlayStation is going multi plat. Uh, what's his name, Dustin? Dustin? Well, Dustin Dustin's Gary. always been kind of fair about the whole thing when when PlayStation well, was having the all Xbox of tax bullshit. That was well, nice. yeah. He he doesn't believe in it, but I think he kind of he had he to believe in it, it real time. <laughs> like, he got slapped oh, out. Say. But when Listen, PlayStation was having issues, on, yeah, actually did you, a video you about have that. to make space. Listen, you have to delete things on StreamYard as you add things, and this will never be deleted. This will always be here when you don't believe in the Xbox tax, but then your peer proves that it does exist yeah. at your expense I on mean, a live stream. That look, was I, glorious. I think the, the thing he's looking at was just specifically reviews, maybe by his organization. And I'm like, dude, it's not just that. There's there's this pervasive negative attitude towards Xbox and positive attitude towards PlayStation. It just is. Show me the articles that your own organization wrote that you're making videos about when you're talking about how PlayStation is faltering and Xbox is going to the future. Show me those freaking articles. <laughs> That's the Show it's just me. that simple. Right? You're That's doing true. it. You're doing the stuff that that your your organization should be doing, right? But they aren't. And that that's you know, it, it just is what it is. Like <laughs> you should be writing those opinion pieces for IGN and putting them up yeah. there so that they, they actually get the credit for the fact that you're doing the journalism and they're not. So hundred percent. You would think. Agreed. Agreed. Um, so yeah, that that was just I, I put that out there because it's just you know I guess the fact that IGN is running the piece um, is you know a, a good move forward where they they at least have to show it. You know what I'm saying? Did I even put it up? No, that's it. That's it right there. Um, you know, I I read it a little bit. You know, he's basically just kind of re putting everything we've seen, the Hiroki Totoki stuff. Um, you know, uh, uh, Herman Hulse talking about it. Um, it's just clear as day that Xbox is not the only one who's fiddling with this idea. Um, the difference is for Xbox, it's just that there's something. It's something they're fiddling with. It's something that they're just testing out. It's where, just a game. Where for PlayStation is literally their lifetime, like their lifeline. I think that's the bigger difference, right? That's the that's the yeah. that's the problem. Like this is necessary. How I can't think of any other way for PlayStation to move forward. So when you're when your company depends on that money, that revenue that will come in from putting your games on other platforms, like at that point, you kind of have to go ahead and put it everywhere. You can't just yeah. jump a little bit or take a little leap. You have to just dive into it. They need the money. They need to fix the mess that's going on over there. And that's going to require a lot of moolah. And they don't have a lot of that. And so that's the only way to fix it, in my opinion, or get bought by somebody. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cheaper to port your games that you already have, which is why they're bringing the ones to PC. That's like, get, let's get these out there. What are you doing? Right. Yes. And so you're going to get a whole right. bunch of those, you know, this year. And that's, that's, that's what they're going to sustain themselves on. Equivalently, they could take their old games and I've been saying, put them on switch, 
There's 140 million of them. Put them on Switch. Brown right, if you can get your games, be freaking amazing on the Switch. 100. They, they have plenty yep. of games like Sackboy games. Right? Just put them on Switch. Yes. Just get oh like gosh. whatever. Just whatever you get, four or five million in sales. That's 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 a lot of freaking money you just put in your coffers. What is it oh, going to cost four, you? Like five a million, million bucks? in sales on Do Switch it. would make PlayStation just turn to a Switch developer because their yeah, games don't why even not? know what that feels well, like. Whatever anymore. it does for them, maybe they'll go ahead and look a little further out and think of other right. things that they can put in there and make even more yeah. money. Like these things are sitting there no longer selling. And so if yeah. you can go ahead and bring them back up, show it to a new generation and potentially save your freaking company, and then that's the route to take. I think that's what Hiroki's that, going to look at. He's like, I want money. <laughs> that's all he's going to be looking yes. at. Where's my freaking Facts. money? Me Where's my bag. ROI? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Well, Hargi, I, I have one bounce. minute left. <laughs> yeah, you got to bounce. So I uh, appreciate you, my dude. Thank you for coming, man. Thank you, Hargi. And uh, we'll see yep. you Friday. Yes. Yep. Catch you guys. Here at nice yeah. This is Hargi's we week. We love you, Hargi. <laughs> <All right, brother. laughs> Peace, bro. Uh, but yeah, uh, listen, I, first of all, thanks, Hargi. Appreciate you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so I, I agree with you, babe. Like this whole thing is just, I don't know. It's, it's random. Um, but I feel like it's good that it's at least they're forced to run some shit like this, um, to show it right. So that somebody somewhere is going to read that PlayStation is also going to be, you know, doing this. The question is, do you think what the fuck did you say? <laughs> Duke says bring in Dirt's wife, fiance, to fill Hargeet's spot. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> um, I f listen. I do think, and again, I don't know how difficult it is for them to go ahead and and just put out there, you know. PlayStation's putting their games everywhere because they need the bag. You know what I mean? Like everything Facts. is tiptoed around Xboxes on Xboxes back, right? 100%. 100%. I mean, enough. Like, go ahead and just understand where we're heading here. Xbox is not dominating everything, right? Phil is out here with the money to make the moves, and he's made the moves. And Absolutely. so just just sometimes you just got to bend over and take that, right? Yeah, bend I know you know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's it's like tiptoed around the situation. Like you've got enough lube. It's been enough of a break. Do it. You know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. It's I just bullshit. Mean. Go ahead. That's what's happening. Announce it. Say it loud and proud. I think that Xbox deserves that respect to at least be left out of the mess um, with with PlayStation. Why do they have to be tagged into everything? That's why. Facts, facts, facts. All right. So I do see um, that the dirt dirt's wife fiance is a joke. And I do remember the joke. So now I understand. I was very confused for a second. But uh, yes, thank you for everybody doing that. See money on Demon Time, Doro. What does that mean? I don't know what's happening there. Force One Vlogs was good, fam. What's up, baby? Thank you so, for being here. Again, when it comes to this, I'm I'm just I'm feeling it. I feel again. I don't know if if he had a fight for this or what they're doing over there. But the fact that IGN was forced or they put this out there, it is a big deal because it is going to be something that you know a lot of people are going to see. Now, uh, Amit brought up the fact that there's going to be a lot of people angry in those tweets, uh, a lot of ponies in there. And that's okay. I think it's time for the ponies to start facing reality. Let's stop sugarcoating everything for them. Come on. It's 100%, bullshit. 100%. Um, all right. Let me they see wouldn't else. be in the position they're in and out there acting delusional if they had if they had to face the facts as they come along. Right? Toughen up. Those are bars because that's 100% the reality. Now, let me go over here. No, wait, go here. So I do want to very quickly talk about uh, the Fallout uh, the Fallout TV show. Shout out to okay. Boss Sean. Boss Sean dropping some some tweets out here that, we, that we're using. Boss Sean's not messing around. Appreciate you, brother. Um, but yes, he is... 
let me make it bigger okay uh so he put out here the fallout tv series is almost here it really does look spectacular amazon prime video season one starts streaming april 11th which is next week um did we did we see the trailer i don't even know if we watched the trailer we saw uh, the trailer um it looks really freaking good um and it starts next week. Here we go. I, I mean, I remember we saw it quite quite a bit back, um, which means... You guys really liked listen, it, I remember. Yes. Yeah, it looked amazing. So uh, f- here's to Prime Videos, getting something right. I feel like they invest and they try so much. And in, in what was it? Lord of the Rings that they had going on and they spent stupid money, right? Yeah. Here we go. This is, this is the one I feel like that's going to pop. Yeah, I think so too. I think Fallout is such a huge, huge brand. Yes. Um, that resonates with you so know, many players, gamers, that, so many people, gamers yes. who want to see this stuff. Um, and and it done well. Be That's what I feel like we're getting to. Finally, we're getting to to a point where gamer. like you can go ahead and grab. Again, it's been quite a bit since since we saw it. Like at least myself, and it's like, damn, it's and this is the perfect time to see it because it's again next week. It's, it's it's just I'm ready. I'm ready. Facts. Yeah, I, I think this is gonna be a, a really uh a hit. really good show. Yeah, I think it's gonna really, be pretty really wild. Show. Ubisoft has a pretty good show, so you know, I think it could be something special potentially. I think I so think too. so too, man. I think that there's gonna be a good one, and Xbox has just been killing it with these. So um Halo's been phenomenal, and I don't doubt that this one will be. Uh, will not be. I think it's going to be just as good. Um, so the last one, just really, really quick discussion on it. PlayStation Showcase uh, or State of Play in May. Um, and it's going to be focused on another third-party game. Well, what it would think was going to happen. I mean, what's it going to be focused on the year that they're taking off? Hey, guys, we're going to talk about our time off. Um, we're going to actually come out here and tell you that we're broke. Um Forget the games, right? We've canceled everything. What, but we're going to sell you a PlayStation 5 Pro. Line up. Get your Facts. pre-orders. Like, what What? What do we expect? I mean, honestly, I didn't even expect this from them to come out here and, and, and have a freaking show. But if they're going to have one, what do you think is going to be there? Now, what I'm thinking is that possibly during that show, we're going to be hearing what games are going to other platforms. Right, I just I feel like maybe they'll tell us a little bit. Oh, place it. Yes, bro. They're gonna show Silent Hill too, and they're gonna show nothing. <laughs> they're but gonna other... say, and we're done. Most likely, <laughs> um, yeah, it's Silent Hill remake two or Silent Hill two remake will be present at the event, and if that's the thing that's being heard, that means that's the headliner. Like, that's going to be the exciting thing. And they're not going to mix, you know, some random first-party game with this. If this is the thing that people are are hearing, then come on, man. I have to say, though, it is a very smart business decision to continue to go ahead. Yes, you don't have first-party games. You have third-party games. Keep on putting these shows on. Go ahead and keep on showing that you are still present. I mean, that is definitely the way to go. And that's some loser, you know. Shit instead that of doing instead right of sitting down Agreed. and laying out, as as long as you keep pretending that you have games coming, right? It, I mean, yes, you didn't make them, <laughs> but the games are coming. So long as Facts. you keep pretending that these are your games because we do know that they have a way of, of, of like put presenting things in a way that it seems as if it's just for their platform or as if it's you know a first party situation like they have a way of presenting things um or not disclosing everything yeah, yeah to try to make it seem yes. like they're they're part of the cool club when in fact exactly. they got nothing. So this uh, is actually very smart of them to continue and, and and stay relevant, I suppose, in 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 this way. We know that, you know, all of their things and their problems are not popping off out there and no one's necessarily talking about it. Um, the media's not bringing it up. And so this is just a way for them to continue to sell through um, until they figure out what they're going to do about their mess. Facts. 100%. Amit Kumar says, where's Concord? 
this is the thing, right? Not- like, <laughs> like how can he not hurt? Like, how could he not have heard that they were gonna see Concord, right? Like, come on, dude. Like, this is just what it is. That like they're not like they fucking lied and put Concord in that trailer, and I don't even think it's gonna come out this year, dude. I don't think it's gonna come out this year. I think it's gonna be next year as well. It's be- all a look right now. It's all knows? a let's get by. It's all a let's linger people along and understand if this whole PlayStation Five Pro situation is real, this is how they're gonna go ahead and 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 maybe get some pre-orders in, right? By continuing to seem as if they're not going through the troubles that they're going through. And so it's kind of, oh, they do have games coming out. Well, let me go ahead and and upgrade my system, right? Yeah, man. Absolutely. Agreed. Uh, well, that's sir, agree. Good, What's up, love? What's up, homie? What um, was that, man? man? Go ahead. <laughs> What'd you say, buddy? Oh, I said agreed. Oh, well, great, great. Great input. Thank you, sir. Excellent Force input. One Vlogs, man. Appreciate you. Says, uh, Thank you for Oroki being here. Totoki is following Phil Spencer's strategy. And if Xbox can finally play PC games, it's the end of console wars. PlayStation started this war. Xbox ends the war. I mean, listen, I think as far as like console wars are concerned, I mean, Xbox already, they already left that conversation. Like, I don't, I don't, I, they don't give three shits about the console war that the PlayStation nation and their army of ponies uh, are so devout to, right? The console sales is not about console sales anymore. They could give three shits. They want the money that's coming from the monthly active users, right? The people who are playing their games, how much money they're spending, how much are they invested? Dude, Starfield was in the top 10 for the year on Xbox. No single player game was on that list for uh, out of PlayStation's camp. I just, I, I think, um, I think the 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 bigger situation here with with um with the fact that there, I mean, what was going to be there though? Like you thought Spider Man was going to make it through? No, I mean, I know it wasn't, but I'm just saying it just confirmed it, right? Like we knew it. But you still have the. We need the, we need the written proof. Yeah, well, because the ponies don't stop, right? The ponies still believe we need the their bullshit. Proof. Well, so that. now I want to see what they're going to say. Oh well, of course, single player. Well, they're games not, not going to say anything. Oh, they're going to move on to where the there. next. You know, they and need... Harry Potter is oh, on. Yes. There, right, another single player game. So it's just it's bullshit. Yeah, uh, KT the Gold says Sony already bullshit. said it's no first party games till 2025. It definitely isn't coming. Agreed. Agreed. A miss says, I don't think it's coming out this year either. All we saw was a CG jiggly burger. Was that the same tech they use in Stella Blade? Is that what they did? They All I want to know is when's Baby Steps coming out? All right. Yeah, where, I haven't even heard that name. When Baby Steps is going to be out here. All right. Baby, in the streets. Oh, baby Steps. Let's Max. go. Max. C Fresh 2180 says, Xbox already lost the console war. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's lost. I think they. I think they just said it don't matter to them anymore. Well, I right? think, okay, so this is because this is what I was thinking about when you were when you were talking. This is the situation. I think Game Pass, all right, it's been there for a minute, right? And now during the ABK deal, it's bigger picture. It's not as as much as as far as you can see, right? Okay, well, they're getting ABK, yeah. they want Call of Duty. No, they want to get into the mobile business right they want to go ahead and get these these games in there they want to crack into it and so i think that you know this whole kitty oh i sold these many consoles you didn't sell as many wah, wah. software is where it's at they're trying to figure out how they can push it where they can go how they can expand game pass think bigger think more that's where they're at they, this kitty shit they've left playstation behind in the freaking ruins a long time ago. That's why Jim Ryan was out there fighting himself, fighting from place to place, having conversations, thinking he had any type of power. Phil was like, yo, don't even sweat it, boy. You're just wasting time and money. Facts. Those are bars. Uh, and listen, with that, because we're going to end it right there. I agree. 
What an awesome show. Oh, thank Fantastic. you all for coming to rock with us. Time. Shout out to the homies in the chat. We appreciate each and every one of you for, thank rocking, you for with rocking with us. With us you shout guys. out to everybody who super chatted, man. Thank it, you so it much. Really helped out. Thank you so much. And a shout out to our members and Patreon members and all that fun stuff. We really appreciate you all. Thank guys, you we with us, will you guys. be back at the end of the week in two days for Night Shift. Yes. Let's Talk Gaming is going to be dope. We got Hargi. And then we'll see who else we're going to bring in the building. Um, but it's going to be a fun King time. for rocking out with us. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Hargeet for rocking out with us. This Facts. was so fun. Absolutely. Man, man. Yeah. My boy. I the always boy look forward to um, Wednesdays. Absolutely. Just my boy. It's in the podcast. And Man Man was in the zone today. Yes. So I was I zoned it. in. Man Man, man, man got You guys be wilding. You guys be wilding, though. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And then uh, remember, guys, we'll be back on Sunday, okay? 10 a.m. Eastern time, morning quest. Do don't see money. We haven't done one in like a million years. So it's going to be good. Guys, thank yes, you all so much. It's been so like two, up. three weeks, yeah, right? Yeah, that yeah, we've it's been. It's been a while for sure. Um, Doodle? Yes. Man, man, we're going to end the show the way we end every single show. Doodle? Yes. We're done. Man, man. Yeah. We're done. We're done. Until next time. You're intruding. You're intruding. You're intruding.